Hey everyone, and welcome to the Collider Video Commentary of Return of the Jedi. It's a very special day for us here, particularly me and John Campia sitting over there, because this is our favorite movie of all time. John, how excited are you? Bar none. Absolute favorite. Like when people ask me what's my favorite movie of all time, I usually say it's a little bit of a cheat answer, but Star Wars, as in Star Wars Empire Return of the Jedi. Fair. But if you really got to press me, what is my favorite Star Wars movie of all time? It is this one, baby. This is my all-time single favorite movie. There's vile gangsters, there's Ewoks, there's something, a space station even more powerful than the first dreaded Death Star. And what John and I are dreading is the appearance of John Schnepp, because he might not like this movie hey, as much as we I'm do. A, I'm the sandwich, I'm the Oreo cream between these two guys from Return of the Jedi. I'm the Empire Strikes Back buff. That's my favorite Star Wars movie. But I still like Return of the Jedi, but I got some issues with it, so we'll discuss it when they, those issues come up and you guys can defend it. There are no issues. Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. No. There are some special edition issues. There are some special edition issues. Which we will point which out. Which we will Java's get palace. to, I'm sure. Yeah, so. I like the blinking Ewoks. It is campy and myself's responsibility to turn this like into a love. We're going to do that right now. I am hitting play. It is 13 seconds into the Lucasfilm logo. I'm going to hit play in three, two, one. Go. And there's the Lucasfilm logo. It's all fading glittery. out. Or not yet. Now it's gold. Now it's gold. Golden okay. Now it's fading happening. out. Yep. I've been waiting for this since we started doing commentaries. Oh, me too. Long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. <gasps> hey, else, you want to scooch up the volume on that a little bit? Yeah. There it is. Yeah. The punch. All right. Which one of these is volume, boys? It's uh, that the farthest one from you. Eh, eh. That's the one. The planet what? farthest from. All oh, right. I didn't see that one. There. Episode I six. Return, Return of the, of the Jedi. Jedi. Remember when it was called Revenge of the Jedi? When we get flagged. I, uh... Luke Skywalker has returned to his home planet of Tatooine in an attempt to rescue his friend Han, Han Solo. Solo from the clutches of the vile gangster Jabba, Jabba the, the Hutt. The word vile uh, isn't used enough these days. As Lando right? Calrissian calls it, Han Solo. Han Solo. He's back to being Han in this movie. The end of Empire he turned into Han. Now he's back to Han. Little does Luke know that the Galactic Empire, Galactic Empire has secretly begun construction on a new armored space station even more powerful than the first dreaded Death Star. But they never called a Death Star. They right. never called Death Star number two or anything. When right. completed, this ultimate weapon will spell certain doom for the small band of rebels struggling to restore freedom to the galaxy. Nice. Which way is it going to go, guys? Is it going to go up or is it going to go to left? Or is it going to go right? Which um, way? It should go down, if I'm not mistaken. I it's going to yeah, pan down. Not always pans down. And yeah. this not always that we're about no? to see from no, Darth No, I think one of the prequels goes up. One of the prequels really? goes up, yeah. yeah. Just to mess with you. Huh, okay. This entrance from Darth Vader, this is like seeing an athlete at the peak of his powers. Yeah. And remember, this is now coming on the heels of Empire Strikes Back. Right. Mm -hmm. With that great ending where Han and Chewie, or uh, sorry, Lando and Chewie, yeah. heading off to go try to find, and then we Bam. see him. Bam. Whoa, there's like, another what? Death Star. What? What? Another it's one? It's under construction. Yeah. And you had to wait three years. This echoes after Star the Wars. End right of here, Empire the Empire Strikes Back. People were like, "What the hell's happening?" Oh, that ship looks evil. That Bring was our me first my look. shuttle. Yeah. Our first look at a Lambda class shuttle. Yes. In Star Wars, that is used quite often now in all the TV shows and all right? the kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I just love the design of all of these ships. Tie fighters. I'm Star pretty sure those other two Star Destroyers were added in. Were uh, were added <laughs> in. Um, Special edition. Yeah. I want to wear that helmet. Yeah, everything's so shiny. That's what, one of the things I love about the Empire in this movie is that everything is so shiny. Like, they clearly had a maid come in and dust everything. Right. They were on a tight ship at the Empire. Yeah. No slacking. For example, you can tell that the Schmoes No office is not run by the Empire. <laughs> <laughs> it is definitely the Rebel Alliance. <laughs> In the Schmoes uh, yes, no office. Right. Unexpected dig, but well done. Vi vines <laughs> growing all over the place. <laughs> Random creatures running Strange around. clothes with weird other creatures inside the clothes. It's like the trash compactor in the first <laughs> yes. Death Star. You yes. get that little eye looking up. Yeah. The complete opposite of the, yeah. that is this Death Star. See, those two guys, that's the quality of filmmaking we're talking about. Those two guys would have been horrible extras in the prequels, but they both nailed They get yeah. one line in the movie, and, and they nailed it. material. Now, I feel for this dude. Yeah. This dude, he's doing his job. He's doing the best he can. And, like, you're create, you're finishing the tech report two months ahead of schedule, and then your boss comes in and says, yeah, I want it a year ahead of schedule. Make <laughs> right? it happen. Damn. 
but it's impossible. Yeah. yeah. I feel Here bad for this. Go. Do this it or you're going to get choked out. Great entrance by Vader. Yeah, he just got had that helmet waxed. I mean, <laughs> look at that. Shiny. On my presence. Yeah, oh. I mean, that dude is only 18 years old, and he looks so much older because <laughs> of working for the Empire. He says, I'm here to put you back on schedule. What are you talking about? We are completely on schedule. <laughs> yeah, not anymore. Oh, let's turn it up a bit, because I'm, yeah. I'm missing some of the I was, I was the told dialogue. to keep it at a reasonable volume. Yeah, there we go. I love this line. Um, we will double our efforts. That uh, the That's Emperor's right. not as Emperor forgiving as I am. Up. Yes. Yeah. It's like, but wait, but Darth, you're not that forgiving of a person. Right. So somebody worse than you. I always thought we should double our efforts. But wait a minute. You already told me you're working 16 hours a day. Right. <laughs> you I'm just, not sure you're yeah. good at math. How can you do that? When, well, their time continues. Maybe in this world they have 38 hours. You know what really sucks is being one of those stormtroopers because you just overheard this at a meeting. You're like, dude, the next week is going to suck. suck. <laughs> yeah. What I always appreciate about this movie is that now we get this nice little movie within the movie where it's Jabba's Palace the movie yeah. and we get that for about 20-25 minutes and I've heard people complain that oh well it doesn't really tie into the rest of the mythology oh, it's, it's just great. this side adventure so much is about to happen right now kids you're going to meet Luke Skywalker as a Jedi ish oh, yes. person for the first time you're going to see Princess Leia be both smart and be able to fight off a, a huge literally enemy and be sexy yeah. And remember, this is Luke bikini. Luke coming back to his hometown now as a Jedi. Right. And remember, I mean, this home world. Mm -hmm. so. This shot of Tatooine happens. We haven't seen this since the first Star right. Wars. It's like, oh, they're back. They're back on Tatooine. <laughs> I want to get this for my door. I, know. Like, I don't know if my that apartment would, complex would probably take away the security deposit, but that would be awesome. Yeah. to have that. Yeah, I mean, this whole scene in Jabba's Palace, they're, 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 you know, it's a recreation of the way that it felt when you went to the Moss Eisley Cantina for the first time with all these different creatures and looking. I want to hang out at Jabba's Palace. Not after hours. Right? No. That's, that's dangerous, but. <laughs> I remember in the Family Guy uh, star, Blue Milk or Blue Harvest thing, when the eye comes out of the door, it's the voice of uh, Consuela, the housemaid. Yeah. No, no. Mr. Jabba, no, no home. Uh, you know what I like about that weird thing that comes out of the door is it's all practical. There's no CG yes, in any of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, there's going to be a little CG. Ugh, right. There's going to be a little CG. Well, right CG. now, everything you're seeing, these yeah. sets were built. I was wondering, that what's that spider? spider? Creature like, thing is what's built. with the spider robot? Yeah. That's Brainiac from Superman Lives. <laughs> <laughs> I love these guys. Gamorrean guards, baby. Yeah. I used to love playing the Star Wars role-playing game when they said, Grimorian guards are coming. It's like, yeah, because you can actually take them down pretty easy. Unless they hit you with one of their axes, then you're dead. Hmm. Uh, Bib Fortuna, our first introduction to a Twi'lek character. That's right, who are very popular Wars. now in Rebels. Yeah, they're actually, the Twi'leks are super popular, and they became really popular in the Expanded Universe stuff. Now all the canon stuff. Okay. You got Hera, who's a Twi'lek. Her father... Um, uh, Sandula is uh, like a big leader dude. Like a weird rejected uh, genital experiment <laughs> is what he looks like to me. Yeah. Well, the good news is your penis isn't large. The bad news is there's two of them and they're on your head. That's right. <laughs> Do they serve a purpose? Do those things serve a purpose that we ever see? Or is it I can't remember what they call those head tentacles. They call them something in particular. Yeah. Peni. But they look great. Like all the all the practical makeup effects in here are just so well done. Yeah. His He's like got George flub. Lucas's neck. neck yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh man, that guy's messed up looking. Yeah, he's like he he's not he's not attractive even no. for a Twilight. He like, was giving me nightmares. Poor that was that was added out here. in right there, and you didn't need to add that in. Like you didn't need to have another Gamorrean guard looking at him. Three PO is like is. totally in the dark on this plane. You realize that even Luke like. 3PO is a mainstay in Star Wars forever, but, right. but he's kind of that cousin in the family. That yeah, he comes to the family, but we don't, no one lets C3PO in on anything. Yeah, he's kind of cousin Eddie. You know, we yeah. just 
We recruit them when we have to. There's a deleted scene here that I love that, that already would have taken place in the film. Right. With Luke Skywalker putting together his, his lightsaber. Before right. coming to the palace, yeah. yes. Now, later, we'll talk about why we're glad that was cut out. Yeah, I'm glad it wasn't in there. But this seeing this thing for the first time, what the hell is a hut? There's like three dudes inside that costume right now. Well, you know what's weird? If you watch it now, it's not for the first time because Star Wars, they added that job of the hut when he meets Han Solo. Um, and it's a CG weird job. You're right, but in 83. Right. I love Jabba's recognition that, oh, I, this is this that little pipsqueak that used to go to Tashi right. Station? Salacious Crumb, the yeah. trilogy coming soon. <laughs> Sp- anthology film. Yep. A Star Wars story. Hey, here's a, here's a question. You guys think Jabba the Hutt knows that Anakin Skywalker, the kid who he saw pod race as I a do. youth, I is, think he knows. Darth, is Darth Vader and is Luke's father? I don't know if he knows he's Luke's father, but I have a feeling he knows who Darth Vader is. He's got to be where Darth Vader. They've had had some sort of dealings with the Empire yeah. at some point. I love that. <laughs> oh, that was salacious. That's drum. salacious. There will be no bargain. I love the aliens talking in their alien language. Yes. And you get the subtitles. Uh, so, you see the Jawa fanning him? Yep. He hires a Jawa to fan him. Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh, there he is. Yeah. We've been wondering what happened. And you know, it's totally, it's not a plot device. Jabba would want to hang him on the wall yeah, as forever. a decoration. Yeah. Oh, t- I, I, millions of fans now hang Han Solo. Know, yes, right. we do. I have him on my floor as a carpet. Yeah, you don't even give him the decency of hanging. No, oh, I walk on him just, every day. <laughs> you just walk all over him. Smuggler scum. <laughs> oh. Watch out, C3PO. <laughs> I love the Gamorrean guards. They're just there to for a paycheck, you know. Yeah. How do you torture a droid with no nerve endings? Well, this one obviously has nerve endings. Yeah. <laughs> you can still burn him. I mean, I always look at this room as kind of like, you know, in the Tangiers in the movie Casino, like if you get caught cheating, they take you in the back room. This is the back room. So if you're acting up in Jabba's palace, this is where they take you. I like this droid. It's kind of like the boss in the back. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Look at the Grimorian guard laughing in the background. And More poor. Look at how sad now, that droid was. If that had been a human being, this becomes an R-rated film yeah, right instantly. away, just from that one Drawn shot, right? And yeah. yeah. If, if if Robert yeah. Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino made this movie, it's all humans getting tortured. It's Look, like I'm tall. D- dad in the background. I love R2 shaking like a dog. He's nervous. Okay, now... Stop torturing that droid! Yeah. Now they turned this thing into what was a great... The the Snipes Noodles Band into um, what can only be described as the Rolling Stones, how they're going to look in 20 years. (laughs) This is the indefensible edition of of the the, uh, special editions. All right, guys, this is your favorite movie now, so remember, enjoy this. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, wow. uh, Absolutely indefensible. I did. Okay, look, I'll tell you what I like about the edition of this. That it reminds you of the Star Wars Christmas special or holiday <laughs> special? I like the Twilight's costume where she's dressed like Cher from the If I Could Turn Back Time video. Uh, I'll, um, I'll buy into that. I also like. Uh, I like that they got one of those original aliens from the uh, from the Mos Eisley Cantina, from the Max, not the Max Rebo. Oh yeah, one yeah Max Re- or uh, the um, whoever there was in in '77. Right. They got one of those guys to play an instrument. Yeah, this is horrible. 
But the music's just not as good as the, ori this but is the like original. This is like 70s music. music. I know, but why they have Nothing to Nothing about this, this is good. It's not Star Wars. It's like It really is like the, the holiday special. Yeah. Um, now they're going to tie it in very nicely, and we get, oh, no, something's below the pit. But, yeah, this song's pretty bad. No, the, like I said, indefensible. And mercifully, the Short. song comes to an end. Yeah. yeah. And we never saw what happened to that chick. Right. We, just we have an idea, down. though. We can only now, assume. Now, is she like the same race as uh, Bib Fortuna? Yes, okay. Twi'lek. This is Bib Fortuna's kind of a screwed up Twi'lek. Right, though, yeah. he's like mutated or something. Yeah. All right. Maybe he's like a hybrid Twi'lek and some other. Something else, yeah. You know, after I murder a dancer, I love having a nice frog. To <laughs> nothing, down. nothing cranks up the old appetite uh. <laughs> as a little bit of premeditated murder. Right. Now we'll have to watch for Salacious Crumb because I don't think he dies on the skiff. Some people said he dies on the skiff, but well, I think he escapes. The skiff blows up, and Salacious Crumb isn't that fleet of foot. He could jump around, but you don't see him die. You, you do not see his death. No. I love. What his if voice. he's Snoke? <laughs> what if Salacious Scrum is Snoke? So I'm be, talking with a mouthful of popcorn. That'd be incredible. Chewy, yeah, the I mean, mighty Chewbacca. Like this is completing the set for that. Jabba because he he wanted Han Solo so bad. But like if you can get Han and his right hand man Chewy, yep. Sorry, C3, Chris, Christian, Christian Harloff's not here, so I'm going to make up for it by crunching into the mic with his popcorn. Oh, here we go. Mm, mm. There you go. Is it just me, or does this bounty hunter look roughly Princess Leia height? I think it, <laughs> this bounty hunter is roughly Princess Leia height. A very height. short bounty hunter. Yeah. Oh. Well, there's no height requirement for bounty hunters. I mean, bounty hunters are pretty much stormtroopers who are too short to become stormtroopers, so... See... Harloff hates that part. I don't mind the little, it at all. I, I hate mind. it too. I know, it's but totally if he, doesn't Harloff? He read like forty books about Jabba, the, or you know. Yeah, like, sorry, we're not telling you guys what's canon yeah. from fifty years ago. But Christian will chime in on the comment boards and like let us know what if this is pre or post canon. But see, that's like a little bit of insight into who Boba Fett was. He, he, you know, he'd go to Jabba's palace, he'd get some tail, he'd go off on his next mission. What's wrong with that? Man, bounty hunters need love too. I'm not saying right? they don't. Yeah. He needs to have his private parts given a little bit of affection. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. And yeah. it proves that in 97, George Lucas was at least in touch with what he thought the fans wanted because he gave you Boba Fett. He gave you another scene with yeah. Boba yes. Fett. Yes, he added some more Boba. There's our boy. That was the only shot of Boba Fett we needed, though. No, I, I like afterwards when he nods. When he nods, like, hey, nice job with that Wookiee. But there's a huge debate that I want to involve everybody here with. So... When Boba Fett nods to this new bounty hunter, is it A, him like acknowledging, hey, nice catch, or is it B, saying, hey, what's up? You want to get a drink later? I don't know. Here it comes. Is this a sexually advancing nod or just a, hey, from one colleague to another? There's just a little respect. I love that nod. Yeah. Either way, I'll take that nod I, all day. I think it's the respect nod. Like you just showed, showed uh, Jabba yeah. what's up. Now here, Lando had some problems breathing. So, so uh, uh, okay, nice uh, breath. Just to make sure you know that it's me, Lando. <laughs> All right. He's showing everybody yeah. what a mustache really looks like. Yeah. <laughs> he knew that there were going to be people watching this movie. This is a man's mustache right That's here. Right. Somebody get me a smooth Colt 45. There are a lot of dungeons in Jabba's Palace. Like this why I, I look at Jabba's Palace. I love this. I, I look at Jabba's Palace Come like guess going. Yes, the burp joke. Need a burp joke. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Wow. That's a good burp joke. Uh, it's a good burp joke. Apparently, yeah. everybody sleeps at the party. That's what That's I love. Right. When the party's done, you just, you just wherever you are, yeah, yeah. you just, just you lay, lay down. down there. That's right. Now you don't no know beds. That. That's what it is here <laughs> in the studio. Yeah, when we're tired after this, we're just going to pass out. Yeah, on people couches. just lay down. Yeah. Yeah, Harloff yeah. right now is actually behind the couch. <laughs> Literally the sleeping. Behind us is Christian Harley. Dennis is over there leaning against the fridge. Campia I mean, would like the office him. to be more like the Imperial, uh, <laughs> you know, base. And I want this to be more like Java's Palace, you know? you Some booze, some open mics. Mm -hmm. You bring me the upside of Java's Palace, I'll concede the downside of Java's <laughs> Palace. How about that? I'm stuck in the middle, guys. What should I do? Should I side with Ellis or Campia 
or just let it ride. Great thing about Jabba's Palace, it's clearly open 24-7, and it's like, hey, you don't got to go home, but actually, no, you can stay here. You can right. actually stay here. Jabba is very socially minded. He does not like drinking and driving. <laughs> right? So when everybody shows up, he has Bib Fortuna take their keys. So you got to turn in your keys when you come in the door. <laughs> he eats the keys. <laughs> I'll poop them out in eight hours. <laughs> and if you're good, I'll let you go. Otherwise, you got to crash here, dude. Maybe Maz Kanata took some notes from Jabba's <laughs> palace. So in her secret palace where you see nothing else but greenery, everyone crashes out at her place. Yes. Isn't that cool that Maz is like running a place somewhere in this universe like yeah. as this is going right on? Right now. Yes, yeah. without this band. Yeah. Now, look, I'll tell you this. <laughs> right, without the band. A lot she of has people, a better band. Because Harrison Ford had, like, he, he was now, he was Indiana Jones as well as Han Solo. He, he was a huge movie star right yeah. now. A lot of people accuse him of mailing this, this movie in. I will debate that to my death. Just yeah. watch this scene of him coming back into consciousness. This is acting, kids. This is what acting looks like. Look, I'll say this. I've seen Harrison Ford in some terrible movies. I've never seen Harrison Ford mail it in. No, no. He committed to Firewall. Of course he's going to commit to Return of the Jedi. <laughs> Where am I? Who are you? Oh, boy, yeah. You think with Jabba's... High tech security. You say, hey, wait, before I pay you, let me take the mask off. <laughs> we just need you to fill out this 1099. If you can just take the mask off. Well, he off. just wanted to, them to unfreeze Han Solo and then reveal the trap. <laughs> He's like, check it out. I was behind this curtain the entire time. <laughs> yeah, it is weird how they set the curtains up. If they're like, oh, okay, okay, somebody's going to break in shh, here. Shh, shh. I wish they showed the behind the curtain, like, don't breathe. Everyone's holding their surprise! breath. Yeah. Oh, my surprise. God, she's going to be so surprised. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. It's like a birthday cake. They're waiting for somebody Totally. Else. Yeah. Look at all those creepy dudes. I like how the Huttese word for, uh, for fodder is poodoo. Yes. Yeah, this is really what he's been after. See, all those dudes are new. Yeah. Right? Really? Yeah. Man, when this lick happens that's coming up, you just yeah. felt the grossness Look of it. Look at all it. the snot, too. Like, I know. This Blu-ray really brings out the snot yeah. in his nostrils. Uh, uh, you, you feel her repulsion. It's yeah. awesome. But a little yeah. scaly. He's a perv. He likes yeah. seeing the old tongue action <laughs> happening. You know, in, in the early 80s, if I had told you that, hey, you're going to be frozen in carbonate for three years, but right before and right after you get to make out with Carrie Fisher, I think a lot of guys would have taken that. Chewy and Han reunited. I believe there are some pockets in the internet where some guys still would take that <laughs> offer. I'm just going to throw that out there. Look how happy Chewy is. Yeah. Rathars? <laughs> <laughs> You know how they retroed, uh, retconned that one thing where they said, oh, that one guy who was on the Rebel Raid on the Moon of Endor, he's actually this other guy from The Force Awakens. Remember the guy with the white beard who's one of the soldiers? Yeah. We talked about it on Jedi Council. It would be funny if they retconned this again. Say, oh, yeah, one of the guys in the background Jabba's Palace was part of Conja Club. <laughs> that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> there's some, I'm sure there's some Guavian Death Gang members. See, this is my favorite scene in the movie. This is one of my top three favorite scenes in the movie is this is a Jedi Knight kid. This is no longer the boy, the wide-eyed farm kid. This is Luke Skywalker. Oh, that's so great. Gamorrean guards are like practice for him. That's a little bit of dark side there he's touching Certainly on is. He's just doing a little force choke. There's Princess Leia's belly. It's a very nice belly. Is that Sebulba? Some dumb they added... They put Sebulba in there. Or, 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 or some one of those one dumb of his creatures. Races, yeah. That's kind of cool, actually. I'd take that. Your name's not on the list. <laughs> yeah, very big night. Yeah, that's, that George Lucas has a pretty great imagination when it comes to what women can wear. No, but honestly, in all of pop culture, not just geek culture whatever, 
is there any more iconic thing that you can think of that's the sexiest thing ever mm -hmm. than the slave Princess Leia outfit? I mean, it's, it's, it's in the top ten. It's in the top ten with Barbara Jane Fonda's Barbarella. It's yeah, like, the, it's the up Wonder there. Woman, I guess. The yeah. outfit, yeah. I mean, Lucy from Peanuts. <laughs> that's right. That's your sister, dude. Look at what Job is doing to your sister. <laughs> I love this. I'm saying is when you go to Comic Cons or whatever now, you don't see 50 girls in a the Jane Fonda, mm -hmm. Barbarella. Up. You see, you see in slave hordes layers, of yeah. slave Leia's. Even a lot of guys. That's been the latest trend the to new, see guys dressing yeah. up as slave Leia's. Which Leia. I could use not to see that. But. Yeah. I just don't want to. I don't want to risk me being too drunk at a party somewhere and <laughs> going home with the wrong Leia. I love three people trying to signal. There's. So clearly, Job has had dealings with Jedi's. Yep. He's done dealt a lot with Jedi's yeah. in the past. I wonder if him and Obi-Wan have ever crossed paths. Maybe. I have no doubt. If they do an Obi-Wan standalone and it's set on Tatooine, you know Job is going to be you, in it. Definitely. I yeah. don't know that. <sighs> Your mind tricks don't work on me. I mean, I don't like, know the dude that runs that world. Right. I don't, I don't runs know that, that Job is aware that Obi-Wan is there because if Jabba did know that Obi-Wan was still hanging around Tatooine, wouldn't he have ratted him out to someone? Well, like, maybe. hey, you might want to be looking for this Jedi to just Obi -Wan to earn some money for or the... Ben Kenobi. They yeah. just refer to him as old Ben. Yeah. So maybe he did have a run in and, you know, escape. But Ben Kenobi certainly is aware that Jabba the Hutt's there. Now, here's your boy Phil Tippett, right? Yep. Phil Tippett. Totally rocking this puppet. Yeah. Amazing non-CGI kids. Rancor. Yep. With that little tasty gooblet dri dripping from his uh, chin there. That's how you make puppets look realistic. Yeah. You put a lot of like a little slime and, and yeah. wet wet them up. Wow, that's a piglet scream. Yeah. Man, those other Gamorrean guards seem to be having a good time watching their buddy get eaten. Yeah. I, they're just mean. <laughs> I know. They're like, oh man. Yeah. Wow. What's Welcome really cool here is after he finishes eating him, this slow dramatic turn to look at him say, I just ate this dude. Now I'm mm. looking at you. This is a great <laughs> shot. When I was a kid, I used to take uh, Cheetos and put them in my mouth and try to crunch them like the bone. Ah, yeah. nice. But a shot they just showed a second ago where Jabba's like having a good time cheering. Boba Fett is standing beside him very somber. It's like Boba Fett knows. That's a Jedi down there. Yeah. I don't think this is going to end well for your Rancor pet. If I'm Boba Fett, I'm, I'm taking off. I'm really glad they added a scene like this in this movie because it's really like, it's like King Kong. It has that like flavor of all, you know, yeah. the giant monster hand holding something, you know. See, this is already longer than any human has ever survived in the pit. So it's very interesting. Oh, it's a female Rancor. <laughs> Oh, my finger. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's what he just said in his language. My finger. Where's my tasty treat going? Can you imagine if eating was this hard? Like if we went across the street to Barney's <laughs> and we're like, dude, it is so hard to eat chicken fingers. Right. Here. They're running away. They're yeah. crunching my fingers. That's why the rancor was so pissed all the time. All right, Nolan mm. Ryan, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, man. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. See nine. ya. Boom. Oh, that thud. Yeah. You almost feel bad for it. I know. A little bit. And then I feel bad for his friend. Oh, I feel horrible for his trainer. Yeah. His whatever his name is, yeah, Tree Blower yeah. Flimpets or whatever. He has some weird name, I'm if sure. If you guys want to know what a Hooters manager looks like, this is every one <laughs> <laughs> Uh, buddy. He's so sad. I think he was in a Terry Gilliam movie. I'd buy it. <laughs> uh, Chung Lo Wookie. He chose uh, uh, yeah, uh, See, Lando's uh, like, all right, let's go. Let's prepare some Do you guys know here. who did the voice of Jabba? 
Um, you know, I saw it in a special once, and I it was nobody of note. Okay, but it was like somebody involved with the production. I think he did a great job. I love it. I love the Earthy Mura solo. It's great. I wish there was a moment like this in The Force Awakens just to have those guys see each other again. And look, as much as I love The Force Awakens, like all other fans, I will always have a little empty space in my heart. Mm -hmm. The fact that we never had a moment to see Luke and Han and Leia together on screen at the same time. See the time. big yeah. three. It yeah. really would have been. A look, I, I'm not saying what they should have done different or anything like that. I'm just right. saying as a fan, a little sad that I never got right. to see that. There's things we that might just... see that, though, in a flashback in Episode Eight. That's it's possible. Point. Yeah, we point. could possibly see that before yeah. Ben Solo yeah. goes nuts. I can see just, that. There's just things that I wanted to see that just don't serve the story they were telling, so I understand it. Right. Like, I also would have loved to have seen that lightsaber in the snow go over to Luke's hand. Sure. And and then him like ha like dual wield like a blue and a green one, but it it doesn't it doesn't serve the story. Right. You know? We have just entered some fan fiction by Mark Ellis, which could be cool. My somebody, fan somebody is horrible. Said, yeah. But it involves a lot more of that bikini. They are all so excited. I love all those Banthas. Now, that's part of the that's new not addition, a bad, right? That's yeah. not a bad yeah. addition. It gives that's some more cool. character that's cool. to the landscape. Yeah. yeah. And then, man, I just love this. The I mean, whole the, skiff stuff is the great. The is really just a, just a crap ton of sand. So this is where a lot of people back in the 80s went out to the Arizona deserts, I think, where they were calling it Blue Harvest. Or was it Phoenix, Arizona? Where they were shooting I just it? can't remember. Do you remember? Uh, I do not remember where. Two, I think it was like Tuza, Arizona or something. I actually have a newspaper that was published from then. Oh, really? From, I got it at a, com a comic convention I like didn't realize that they ago. shot the, these sand scenes in America, not back yeah, in Tunisia. Yeah, these were all shot in America. This obviously shot against a blue screen. But, right. You know. That's a great line. <laughs> I know. Yeah. But it's like, <laughs> we forget today. Like, look, we look at this. Oh, so green screens. Mm -hmm. 25, well, however many years ago was that uh, Jedi 30, came out? 33. Yeah. I mean, this was revolutionary. Well, because this was all composited I, I with film. I never noticed he's got a yeah. drink. I never noticed he's got, like, a big, like, yard of booze. It's a diet soda. Yeah. Oh. I love the bartender R2-D2. I want to get an R2-D2 bartender in my place. That would be pretty badass. Yeah, there's actually one of the best effect shots for its time that I've ever seen is in this movie later when we go to Endor. It's like, you know, it doesn't hold up as well by today's standards. Can but I just mention how proud I am that, you know, a year ago, the statement out of Mark was, I really want to be able to get a female in my place. <laughs> and now he's graduated to the point of, now I want R2-D2 bartender. That's See, right. they added so that. We didn't need the Audrey no, no, from, we didn't. you know, Little Shop of Horrors. Thing. Feed me, Jabba. Feed me. I'm hungry for Luke ball. Skywalker. Burger. I love the dialogue here. Victims mm -hmm. of the Almighty Sarlacc. He's using him as a PA. Again, don't need to see the beak mouth down there. Nope. I love the mystery of it. Yeah. The yeah. pit with some tentacles. Yeah. Like, and what's teeth. really down there? I love there? that dude. I He's, oh, yeah. He's I seen, seen some that action. Toy. That's Klaatu, that I believe. Action. Klaatu. Yeah. <clears throat> How to curse in Star Wars without actually right. swearing. Yeah. Wormwood and Filth is pretty strong language. Quentin Tarantino directed this movie. Totally. <laughs> A lot of N-words being dropped by Han Solo right there. You know what I like about those creatures on the skiff? They're named Klaatu, Barada, and Nikto, and those are the three words yep. that are used to not only bring Evil the dead. dead from the Necronomicon, but they're also the words to activate Gort from the day the Earth stood still. Wow. So it's a lot of deep, deep nerd stuff Look starting that. with that to this to the Evil Dead. All right, this is, uh, this is my favorite scene in the movie part two. Just the little salute that he does to R2-D2. And he's ready for action. Yeah. When you see that lightsaber go, and you're like, this is all part of Luke's plan. Yep. Ooh, I used to try to do this on the diving board. And it never ended up well for me. Oh, it's so perfect. Green lightsaber! It's green! Just crushing bitches. Now Luke just starts straight up murdering people. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> totally. <laughs> yep. Why are you starting yeah. to think about it? There's hey, there's the uh, Heinrich uh, scream. Yeah. Not, said it wrong. Wilhelm. Wilhelm, thank you. The Heinrich. Well, the, I know, I was it's like. It's the Heinrich maneuver. The, yeah. <laughs> the Wilhelm scream. Thank you. <laughs> Got to get it in every movie. Boba See, Fett. Here comes Boba. 
And that's the first time we see his rocket packs, right? Totally. Because he never uses them in Empire. Here's my question. If you're Boba Fett, what's your, what's your best possible outcome in this situation? Are you trying to capture Luke to, like, sell him to the Empire? He's just trying to stop all of this, like, I think. Yeah. Like, Boba Fett should have known his limitations. Like, the dude's a Jedi Knight. He's going to win this, okay? Like, just live to fight another day. Oh, head first into the skin. And then he uh, goes out like a punk. He's stunned. Into the Audrey 2. And another burp joke. <laughs> well, that's the way you take care of a character that's beloved by everyone. Is like, I wonder what he's going to do. You know what sucks about that is that in the original Return of the Jedi, Boba Fett just went into this like scary, spiky-looking vagina, and we don't know when he came right. out. Here, he gets eaten by that thing. Like, Audrey 2. Like, that thing two, munches yeah. on him, and it's, yeah. like, it's harder to get out of that. Yeah. This is just great action on two different fronts right now. You know Jabba so got off on that right before yep. he died. Choke <laughs> him out. He's like, this is the best worst day of my life. No, I'm fine. Just a little harder. Just a little harder. I love this one line coming up by Lando. Yeah. He's like, didn't I just kill you on the skiff? Yeah. Same, same he <laughs> makeup. That's Sarlacc pit. Dead. <laughs> That's right. I love kill this you. guy pops up laughing. No, kill you. Mm -hmm. oh, I love that squeal. Yeah. <laughs> that laugh right there right. is so good. <laughs> I love this line. I think you're blind. Mm -hmm. Higher. A little higher. <laughs> I love that. They changed that line in 97, too. They did? He said it, it was Lando's same line, but Han said, uh, Han said, it's all right. I can see for something like that. Then oh, yeah. I'm seeing a little bit. To, they took that line out. That's to, right. Yeah. They, they just like over. I totally it, forgot about else, that. Yeah. I wonder why they took it out. Yeah. See? Yep. He's got a Jedi jump, but that's the kind of jump that Luke did in Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. Where he's in the carbon freezer Mate, and jumps up to the salacious top. Salacious Crumb might yeah. actually have he has Jedi force powers. powers, dude. I'm telling you, he's Snoke. <laughs> All right, so that's the last time we see Salacious Crumb. My favorite scene of Carrie Fisher in this movie. <laughs> oh. He's got a metal hand. Yeah. See you later, Hump. Oh yeah, I guess they were showing you a little bit of the metal hand. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Man. It's like these damn droids. Yeah, Luke is very demanding so far. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure that scrum doesn't make it out of this. See, this is right when when we cut away right here is where Salacious, Salacious Crumb is actually making his getaway on a tiny skiff. I. It's just happening. We didn't see it. I shall have my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> See, on the other side is Salacious Crumb going away in a, on a tiny skiff with a couple other smaller with pals. With Boba Fett. Yeah, with, where's, with, where's, where's, where's head. Boba Fett? <laughs> That's no, right. No. And then they supposedly cut away to that sand scene where they're like, I'll meet you back later. You know, yeah. that scene yeah. that was No, this out. is great. Cut away to space. It's yeah. Let's move it along. Visually, it's such a definitive bookend on that, on mm -hmm. Act 1. That's right. Bam. Yeah, I thought that was just such a great resolution to what happened in The Empire Strikes Back. Totally. It's like, okay, we, we were all splintered off there at the end. Han got frozen carbonite. Now we got the gang back together. Right. And we're about to solidify our rebellion going up against this, this new hand. galactic empire. We'll get there quick. He's he pretty old. Yeah. You. Hurry up, man. Meanwhile. And this is the first time we get to see the Emperor in person. Yes. And you can see the pomp and circumstances a lot. Granted, look at all the TIE fighters flying down there. <laughs> this is and like being invited to a big-time Hollywood premiere. The know? reception guard is Everybody. much bigger yeah. than when Vader showed up. Yeah. Hey, guys, They're I like one to see the dudes. Emperor tonight. This is like 40, 40 or 50 rows of dudes. There's like chicks in the front row with like bikinis. <laughs> yeah. What are those red dudes called? 
Uh, Red Guards. Imperial Guards. Red Guards, yeah. Imperial Guards. I just love the way they I look. I love seeing them in the Rogue One trailer. Yeah. Like yes. On either side. Because when you see those guys, it ain't just some, you know, random lieutenant in the room. Right. That it's means like that Vader's on the scene yeah. or that Palpatine is on the scene. And they're generally only for the Emperor. They're they're the guards of the Emperor. Right. I um I don't think that that scene in Rogue One, I don't think that, that person in the cape is anybody, is, is one of these two guys. But no. I think on the other side of that. Is the Emperor. I think it's the Emperor. Is I, I think it could be Vader's like sauna and then maybe a hologram of the Emperor. Hmm. Well, maybe. Ah, oh, Ian McDermott. Yeah, so good, man. And he's 39 years old, I think, in this movie. Really? really? I think the M- Palpatine's 39 years old. So there's still plenty of time left for me to I be I don't know, because when did Dirty Rotten Scoundrels come out? Because 87. Because he was the butler in that, and he was already pure white-haired and everything in that movie. Right, oh, really? but he, he, yeah. he went white really early. He was like Steve Martin. Steve Martin went white at like age nine. And then stopped aging. Well, he's in this amazing Dennis Potter BBC series called Cold Lazarus and Karaoke. Ian McDarmid. Incredible if you guys check it out. It's a little flavor for you. Uh, Ian McDarmid. Um, I, I, I wonder how many of those stormtroopers and stuff were CGI'd in in 97. I think in they 97. were. I think they were yeah. all there. But it's not CGI. I remember it's like back in, in the early, when this was made in the 80s, they just shot plates. And yeah. they would do those. No, 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 no. I plates. meant in the, in the reissue. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's hard to tell. But here's See, Puppet Yoda, which I still love. Yeah. Yoda must have, like, busted his ankle or something and then just gone downhill fast. Because he was still pretty spry in Empire. Mm-hmm. Spent a lot of energy training Luke. Yeah. He's not an easy and Luke not listening to him multiple yeah. times. That's a great line. Mm-hmm. Um, you can just see Luke's demeanor in Yoda's hut is so much different than his physical demeanor in Empire. Right mm-hmm. now, he's comfortable. He's at home. He's with his friend. Right. Yeah, he's not bumping his head on the walls. And- <laughs> I like how they make him a little bit cross-eyed here too. Yeah, just he's a to, little seen yeah. Just to emphasize that point a little bit, really make him feel older. He's got his dog tags on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Isn't that cool? He's like, hey, put that blanket on him. Man. Yeah. That is an old blanket, man. Yoda I bet it has, hasn't been washed in a while. He's not been a JCPenney. That's great news to hear. You know, it's like, oh, thank no more runs through the jungle. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> what if he died right there? Like, just like, no, you're not. <laughs> He's laughing I'm out. and dies. You must confront Vader. Like Luke said, that's bull. <laughs> what other Jedis had to confront Vader right. before becoming yeah. Jedis? Luke's like, can I just run some more miles or something? <laughs> you're making this up as you're going along, old man. <laughs> You're going to ask it, aren't you? Yoda pulling a very bad attempt at brushing it off. Yeah. Rest I need. Yes. Rest. You see Frank Oz's hand coming up there under the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, crap. That's not a good That's not a good cut. <laughs> and then the hand bump is gone from this angle. <laughs> oh, boy. But why was it unexpected? Maybe Yoda Maybe Yoda yeah, wasn't aware that Vader even knew. Oh, no, no. He's talking about it from Luke's angle. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was very unexpected from that angle. He also expected to have two hands. Yes. See, that's what he's saying. This is Yoda basically saying, look, I know everything. I seemed unreasonable before, but mm-hmm. this is why. Right. right. You weren't ready to hear the truth. And you lost your hand. Yeah. Now, look, is Obi-Wan a bit of a liar? Sure. But. <laughs> he 
He meant well. Yeah, from a certain point of view. I just look at all the detail in the character in this little abode. I mean, it's it, it's just the fact that it has all these little nooks and it has all these little crevices and scratches and it feels so lived in. Like, even on his pillow, like there's holes worn That's in the, the key, pillow. It's lived in, you know. Yeah, it's the lived in universe is what they, they talk about a lot in the Star Wars world. The one thing I'll say about the prequels was when he says in line, don't underestimate the powers of the Emperor, you can at least appreciate now it's because, like, dude, I fought him. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't underestimate that guy. That's right, yeah. So that's that's my one little shout-out there to the prequels there. And I think think worrying can age people prematurely, and I think Yoda (laughs) did a lot of worrying in the last three years. Yes, he did. Well, after Luke skimped off not completing his training and leaving Dagobah to fight Vader. And his his teeth got worse, too. He's like at this point what? in the theater, everybody was looking at you. What? There's another Skywalker. Yeah. What? Everybody's freaking out. Is it Lando? Is it Wedge? Yeah, it's a pretty tough pill to swallow, Luke. Hey, man, you have 900 years. It's a pretty good day at the office, you know? Now, did they ever describe why Ben Kenobi and him just disappear? Yeah, and why Qui-Gon didn't? Yeah. That's what I was always curious about. I'm sure there's a reason for it. Oh, I never noticed that. a little light going out? Yeah, the fire goes out. Your fire is dying. A little Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark. <laughs> <laughs> Your fire is dying, your Fraulein. <laughs> Tote. Yep. Yep. Hey, there's the liar. <laughs> 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 he hasn't been replaced by Owen McGregor yet, but this is a uh, this is a scene I really want to get your guys' take on because. Um, our uh, beloved friend of the Schmo Show in here at Collider, JTE, uh, had a real problem with the fact that Obi-Wan Kenobi's ghost decides to sit down. Nice. Because he's, again, a ghost. So well, what are you taking a load off? All right, for? hang on. We're, now we're breaking into the Jedi's Liars Club segment of the, the story. Remember, he's not a ghost, per se. We don't, we don't understand... What is going on with their interaction with the right. Force at this point? So it's not a ghost oh, yeah. as in our traditional a, understanding yeah. of a physical ghost. Physical manifestation See? inside Luke's brain. So do I, whatever he wants. I probably. contend that in order to make it more you know, palatable for Luke to understand, because Luke is still alive, that it's like, hey, I'm going to sit down in a comforting fashion and be able to talk to you. Because sometimes he should have like a sit down with somebody. Here, let me, let me answer this for JT. This is all fake and made up. And they can do whatever the hell they want. Stop asking dumb questions. Ben Kenobi can sit down because he—that's what they decided to do in this fantasy. John Schnapp, Bam. throwing the gauntlet down. JT, hashtag force. Also, sit. X-wings don't exist, and this is using a force. Oh, some of that's true. The force is real. That was the big hook line in the trailers for uh, Jedi. If you remember, right. must face Darth Vader again. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. That's a good hook. Like, well, that settles it. There's only one woman in the Star Wars galaxy. That's right. Princess Leia. We haven't met Mon Mothma yet. So, you know, this is tying into the prequels pretty well. Right. You know, yes. the, that end shot of Revenge of the Sith when he's kind of, you know, going to look over him. And here you go, Joel Edgerton. Bam. You can watch him. And- he just figured it out. Mm-hmm. And then I, I can't believe I made out with her. <laughs> he's like, I can't.
Unfortunately, that's the one thing that doesn't really work with when you watch Star Wars and even Empire is like they didn't know that Leia was his sister. Like you know, Lucas uh, might have like wrote it down on a notebook in like you know 1975, but they didn't. No one else knew it because they were like the way no, it was and shot. And when you read um, how Star Wars conquered the universe, they really make their case that uh, until before they shot Return of the Jedi, they didn't know Leia was going to be yeah, a sister. Right, Even George, right, did. yeah, right. It's kind of chucked in there. Right, he figured out that Darth Vader was Luke's father between A New Hope and Empire. Mm. Look at Leia giving some dude her number. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, well, you're not a hut, so you'll do. So here's the scene that's in The Force Awakens, right? Where they basically hang out in front of a giant Death Star. Mm -hmm. And, oh, it's a second Death Star. No, it's a third one. It's called a Star Killer. Whoever's playing Mon Mothman, the new one, looks a lot like this. Yeah, they nailed Mon yeah. Mothman Rogue One. And, yeah. the, and it's important to understand, too, we are just now being introduced to really, whether you know it or not, is one of the single most important characters in the Star Wars galaxy in Mon right. Mothma. Yep. Oh, yeah, she's not just a substitute teacher. I mean, she is, you know. I mean, she's it. She is the head of the Alliance. And she's a good, she's a good motivational speaker in her own yes. kind of quiet way. And moment of silence for uh, Admiral Akbar died recently. The voice yeah, actor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right, right, right. So good that they were able to get him in The Force Awakens. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. And who lives on Endor? A ah. bunch of little ah. baby Chewbacca's. Teddy bears. Yeah, so, again, there is a way that we can sneak an X-Wing into the Death Star and to blow it up. This, this Death Star is actually a lot easier to blow up than the last one it was. It is. Because the last <laughs> one was like finished. A little tiny See, port that you had to shoot into. He said that one little Except, ventilation shaft. remember, this was... What we learned later in the movie is that this was all part of the Emperor's plan. Right. He wanted them to see that there's a way in, to draw them... And he just didn't that expect That guy's got some messed up down. hair. Look at that hair. Yep. Very good point. That yeah. guy's got a weird haircut. He's too busy yeah. worrying about strategy <laughs> to worry about yeah. hair. General, General it's kind of a hipster he was swoop a style. Yeah. Yeah. That's one. Everybody's a general now. General this, general that, general you, right. general I'm, her. I'm sorry, John. I believe that Han Solo has earned the rank of general. He's after... been asleep for three years. This is where yes, she's like, been, oh, wait a minute. Arrested. I sense that you're my sister. That's <laughs> yes. And gave her that vibe. Yeah. She goes in to kiss him. And he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa hang on a second. Whoa. He's up. Easy. Now, is this the first look that we get at those A-wings in this movie? Yes. Right. That's right, yeah, you get to see All the, the different cool ships. Love the Y-Wing. The B-Wing gets introduced in this movie, too. Oh, right, right. There's actually a good episode of Rebels where it's this is supposed to be, this is where they created the B-Wing fighter. Oh, really? Is in Rebels, yeah. I'll have to check oh, that out. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Right. I'm be taking a bathroom break. Once right again, back. not the greatest green screen work, but at the time... Yeah, yeah, I mean, what it, I, I hear people complain about this, too, that they just got lazy with practical effects or whatever. It's like, come on, man. Or it's just a flat-out matte painting that they're standing in front of. I think it's a matte painting. It becomes a matte painting. You know how hard that was for Han. It's like he just, he just got out the of the car. That's the matte painting. There are people just walking in front of the matte painting. Yeah. He got to fly it one more time, and then it's like, eh, now it's in Lando's hands again, so it's probably not going to make it. By the way, what a cushy gig they got, as opposed to being the ones that had to fly into the Death Star. Like, if you're going into the Death Star, you know there's like an 80% chance you're going to die. You're going to get blown up. Here, you're going to a forest moon with a bunch of cuddly teddy bears. If you get into the shield generation, it generated great. If not, there's a lot of lush. You can take pictures, hide out.
Good line from C-3PO, actually. C-3PO and R2-D2, every movie they're in, particularly th these, and then, you know, the new one, they're just so good. They're, they're so note perfect with both comic relief yeah. and serving a real utility. Yeah. Yeah. You can say what you want about the second Death Star. It looks awesome. Oh, it looks incredible. There's a CN Tower of the Death Star. The Emperor's Chamber. I never knew that. I never <laughs> knew that's the tower. Yeah, he's up in with his view. Wow, okay. He does have a scar, man. Oh, yeah, he does he's, have a he's scar wrecked on up. His, on his forehead. Is it a Snoke scar? No, I don't know about that. I don't think but. so. Vader, there's there's a good reason why the Emperor is Anne's favorite character. I think Harloff's favorite character, too. Yep. In all of Star Wars. Oddly. I wonder who these two dudes are. I think they're just like a random console. They just had a meeting scheduled. Are they just hype guys? Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, the Emperor! There's <laughs> uh, Vader's Super Star Destroyer. That we get introduced to in Empire, I believe. Look at how big that thing is. <laughs> I love how Han doesn't try to mask his voice at all. He's like, yeah. hey, you might be able to. Hey, uh, I'm not Han Solo. <laughs> I know you're looking for me, but I ain't him. What is a giant Star Destroyer called again? Super Star Destroyer. I thought it was called something like the Executor or something, right? Well, the, the specific name of the ship yeah. is, uh, yeah. But the model of the ship is Super Star Destroyer. And there's a bumper sticker on the back that says, I love Uranus. <laughs> This dude has some complexity to his character. That guy, very wouldn't rare Hans, in the Wouldn't Empire. Darth Vader know Han Solo's voice? He tortured him in Empire Strikes Back. We were just talking about that while you were touching yourself oh. to Princess oh. Leia in the bathroom. Right on. Hey, it didn't take me that long. Come on. <laughs> oh, he senses it, so he's like, let him through. Too late. Yeah, but here's the thing. nobody If anybody else on the ship talks, it, it's given away. Because Leia's his kid. Luke's his kid. He's going to know c 3 No, but he just sensed Luke Skywalker right there. Look, yeah. he's like, he knows. Yeah, he knows. You know what you should have done? C-3PO speaks six million languages. Have him do some accent. Have him do... Wouldn't have, it wouldn't have mattered. Vader would have sensed Skywalker. I know that, but it's like, at least try to mask the right, voice. Right. Yeah. Look at the guts of the... Yeah, I know, right? I think that's so cool. You idiot, the mic's still on. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been awesome. Cut away to the vampire, like, wait a minute. <laughs> Shields go back up, shuttle destroyed, credits. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see, like, stormtroopers falling out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to try to see the camera in the back of Vader's helmet because it's a reflection, but you can't. They did a really good job. Yeah, yeah it's a, I don't know how to do it. These are pretty wicked helmets. Yeah. Y'all ever been to the Redwood Forest in uh, Northern yeah. California? It is un amazing. The trees are as big as they look. This here. is all real. These yeah. are not fake trees. Those are real trees. It's a madness. And now for a special acoustic song, Sting. I feel. <laughs> no, I'm not going to sing during this part. Uh -huh. Hey, it's me. I love how Han uh -huh. is just stepping up to the plate. If I was on a ship or on a mission with Luke Skywalker, I'm like, um, so do you want any backup or like? <laughs> I know, you, right? You gonna take care of this first or what? He's on point. Me and Chewie got this. Yeah. Look at those speeder bikes. Oh, there's sticks. New That's terrain. That's a badass jacket that Han Solo is wearing right there. I want that jacket. 
How are those jackets not the coolest thing for the rest of the 80s right there? And speeder bike stormtroopers are awesome. Biker such scouts cool, rock. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is such a cool scene. Yeah. This, these There's are, his bow. Bam, these look at that. I was talking about is these things for 1983, the way so it looks amazing. through the trees is incredible. I mean, if you work for ILM, this is where you make your money right here. Yeah. Han getting a little jujitsu in. Now oh, you guys remember you seeing this in the when you were kids, seeing this trailer for Return of the Jedi, and you saw these shots right here of the speeder bike. You're like, "What the hell?" Yeah, it's absolutely insane. So the cool. first trailer I saw for Return of the Jedi was like three years ago. What? First trailer I ever saw for Return of the Jedi was like three years ago. All right. I remember seeing one. Young Mark Ellis, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. What really makes <laughs> this scene though is the first person views when they're going uh, down. I yeah, love this. Yeah. Through. Yeah. Then you really feel the motion, and this on the big here. screen, you feel the motion yeah. of it. Yeah. It's just a dude walking through the redwoods. You yep. know, that's what that is. I mean, but speeding they, it up. They did such a great job. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Ow, that had to yeah. hurt. Every one of these biker scout deaths is awesome. The sound design too. They were just having donuts. Hey, that's, yeah. like a, that's exactly what they should have been doing. Every time I think, I, every time I see the scene, I think of when you see a cop on a bike and it's like a speed trap. Totally, like boom. For drunk drivers. Yep. Yeah. I love that. I what? Love that. Oh no. That's that's what Maverick learned in yeah. Top Gun. Hit the brakes, they fly Oh. Right that's so cool. Get him, Luke. Look how he's threading the needle there. I know, yeah. right? This is a tough course to navigate. They're too. really good at driving these things for the first time, right? And it's like. I would have crashed way long ago. That's no what, it, what having north. the force powers, you know? <laughs> She's going vertical. Oh, hey, there's a pedal to go faster? I know, right? Yeah, do that. Yeah, keep looking behind you with all the trees, you idiot. <laughs> what? There you go. Whoa. There you go. Hmm, maybe I'll pull out my yeah. side pistol. <laughs> Don't mess with this right? chick, dude. Oh, boy. Damn. Well, she, at least she knew how to duck and roll. Yeah. That's right. Oh. Hey, that's what you get for looking behind you, you moron. Yeah. He was also texting at the same <laughs> he time. He was texting. <laughs> <laughs> they should cut away to him like, totally got her. She's, what? <laughs> yeah. Totally, <laughs> totally got, got her. her. Yeah. Hashtag yeah. booyah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, yeah. Bam. There's a whole short series here. You could have those two guys eating donuts before the bikes come by. Uh, no. Literally a 10 minute show. Man, short nothing film. ever happens here. Endor sucks, man. Have you seen those little baby Wookiees? Not yet. <laughs> Get him, Luke. Come on. Oh, boy. Nice backwards landing. Yeah, really. Got lucky in a bush. Never Damn. turn around to go back for the jet. I love that shot yeah, really. where he's like, yeah, I've got the guns on you, son. Yeah. This is Deflection. Oh, I love that. Yep. So Goodbye. badass. I don't think he survived that. No, I do not yeah. think he walked away from that. <laughs> Minimum is paralysis. Mm. Not walking away from that. What if Salacious Minimum crumb, full body burn from... paralysis. Salacious <laughs> Scrum's head just ducks in from one of the trees. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, my bathroom break. Yeah, Han's a big O for one in this on Endor so far. Right? I want Han's jacket instead of Luke's poncho. I'm not a big poncho dude. I'll go poncho. Yeah? I kind of like the poncho, right, yeah. So we'll, rock, we'll rock that on Halloween, yo. Yeah. See, look. Han cares about Leia. You know, in the grand scheme of things, Luke Skywalker pretty much sacrificed. I mean, he was training, right. but like, like the in the context of the rebellion, just kind of sitting and watching the Empire get stronger and stronger and stronger and building this new base. They're like, Luke, are you ready yet? And Luke's like, Nah, I gotta wait a little bit longer to go rescue Han. It's like it took a while to rescue Han. Chewbacca's legs just got really tiny. That's no, 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 honey, that's not Chewbacca. What? That is wicked. What's he holding a? Our oh my Ewok. god! Yeah! Ewoks! Feisty little. Yep. Now, is it true that uh, George Lucas was originally going to have this on, uh, uh, what, how do you say it, Kaishak or Kashak? 
Uh, uh, the, Kashyyyk, I believe Kashyyyk? that it, yeah, he wrote, wrote the Wookiee it planet. Oh, but Kashyyyk, then the holiday, yeah. the holiday special had Life Day, and they kind of ruined the Wookies. Yeah, and, and so they're like, let's put the teddy bears together. And the Wookies aren't aren't as cuddly. Right. I mean, look, look, Ewoks are fierce. Don't get me wrong. They they will literally gnaw you to death and stab you with a spear. But they're so cute. She's not intimidated. No. I mean, that's a pretty cool looking creature, though. You know. Yeah, that's right. And he's growling. Yeah. Come on. This is very much like Yoda's introduction, remember? That's mm -hmm. right, yeah, just a Yoda, little... we want, hey, stop eating my food. It's a tiny little dude yeah. walking around. You don't Here, have some, like, crunchy him. barley oats or whatever it is they're eating. Do you think Wicked is kind of like the black sheep of the Ewoks, though? Like, like nobody else is hanging out with him. Ewoks usually rove in packs, and I don't know. Wicked's I think just kind of out by himself. I, no, I think he's cool. He was just on his own, doing his own thing this time, you know? I think I he's mean, got friends. I like the blinks they added I just, to the Ewoks. I want some Star Wars crackers. Uh -huh. I love them braids. Oh, this is great. See, they hate the Empire, too. God, she is so good looking in this movie. <laughs> she Apparently really she's a very beautiful lady. Yes, yeah, she is. But of the three movies, I'll take her here. I love the Ewoks. Just had to throw that in there since I just got back. They're great. Uh -huh. I was just commenting on how I really enjoy the blinks that they added to the Ewoks. It was always a little problem for me. Like, it looked just too much math, like a dead mask. Right. So I'm glad they were able to... Add a little of that. That's the special editions adding something. Oh boy. It's kind of a prissy little gun there you got there, soldier. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a very Star Trek phaser looking yeah. thing. All right, Wicket. Do your worst. Nice. Damn. Nice shooting, Tex. And again, not yeah. walking away from that. Nope. John, Schnapp and I were debating where Wicket ranks in the Ewok pantheon. Like, like is he a cool Ewok or is he kind of like the nerd? Ellis was concerned Ewok? because Wicket's by himself. He's like, normally Ewoks travel in packs, but I was like, no, he's just on his own. I think he's just a scout. Thing. I think yeah. He's a scout kind of dude. I, I have honestly always had the feeling that he's a little the, closer to the lower ranks of the yeah. Ewoks. Yeah. Yeah. I, he, he's not a high command or anything. No. But they might let him braid. Hey, I hair. know how they put that dish in now. In return of the Jad well, you know. Just nose butted in yeah. with some uh, Star Destroyers. Yeah. He didn't even knock. No, he did not. <laughs> See, the Emperor does, like, this is no bad. You're about to get reamed by the Emperor. He says, I told you to stay on the <laughs> command ship. I <laughs> think you disobeyed me. What the hell? Ooh. Well, I'll turn around to hear this. If I penetrated the shield, you mean, yeah, just let him go through? <laughs> <laughs> Does he have cup holders on this thing? Yes. I bet you there's a built-in toilet. Oh, no uh -huh. doubt. God, he's so good. He's so evil. He's pretty much wearing a Snuggie, too. Oh, yeah. What are those blankets? Yeah, right. I wish With it was tiger arms? striped. Yeah. yeah. It's just like a tiger striped. Yeah. Snuggie. Snuggies. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Snuggie. It looks like they stitched the other bunch of airplane blankets. <laughs> he loves to do that, too. I will turn away and now look out into the stars. <laughs> Whenever I see with that, I think of that one line from Borat where her vagine is like a wizard's sleeve. I just think of the emperor. <laughs> <laughs> She got gnawed to death by Ewoks. Oh, no. Okay, then, Han Solo, CSI. Yeah. He's figuring out the crime scene. <laughs> yep. 
There's some messed up stuff over here on the floor. See, what if the Rebels just decided to wage holy war against the Ewoks because they thought that, <laughs> that they killed right. Princess Leia? Be a, a whole other movie. Everybody thinks the Ewoks are these cute, cuddly little teddy bears. They will hunt you. Mm -hmm. They will then burn you alive over fire. Yep. And they will feast on the flesh of their severed heads of their enemies. <laughs> These are murderous little <laughs> killers. They're still cute, and then though. They'll They're play cute. drums on your head. Then afterwards. they will use your head, your severed head, yeah, that's like some... as an instrument of yeah. their victory song. Yeah. That's a dead something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they fell for the for the nuggets of meat. I, now you know, been captured. I, I, Chewbacca's smarter than that, man. Chewbacca yeah. must have been really hungry. You always got to feed Chewie before you go on a mission. Han knows how to use the lightsaber. R2, I love this pizza cutter. To the rescue again. I'm not sure one little cut in one of those strands was gonna would have opened the whole net, but whatever. Hey, it's oh, a, it's the there's straw some, that there's some Ewoks back. hanging out right oh, there. Oh yeah, they're already there. Yeah, they were waiting for the, they, the trap got sprung. Boom, they're there. Yeah. See that? That's an that's Ewok that's leader. a big ranking guy. Yeah. Look at those teeth. That's the Black Panther of the right. Ewoks. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, hey yo, what's up? Yeah, so we're gonna eat you. I love. We their are gonna voices. straight up eat yeah. you. <laughs> oh yeah. So cute. I know, right? Till they drive this stone-shaped spear through your heart. <laughs> is that? Did they go in the swamp? Did they kill a Gamorrean guard? What is that thing on that his head? That is some <laughs> kind of weird giant lizard creature. That is like a giant. It is pig. like a little. I mean, it's yeah. not a Gamorrean guard, but it is yeah. a little Gamorrean guard yeah. decision, that, especially with the tusks. Yeah, I mean, he earned the kill. I love this. I like this little song they start singing, too. Yeah. This reminds <laughs> me of The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is so nice to see c 3 po who's a droid who's been pretty much crapped on for three movies. For yes. all of the movies, basically. Finally get yeah. his, you know, get his That's due. Gets his little shine on. Yeah. If I'm 3PO, I'm never leaving the forest moon. Yeah. I'd be like, it's time for me to go back to Endor. Yeah, look like a yeah. king, man. Yeah. <laughs> I love the look on Ford's yeah. face right here. <laughs> Proper. <laughs> you can't impersonate a deity. <laughs> it's a lot of spears. So now... Because somehow Chewbacca's outside the circle there. Did right. you notice that? Yeah. He could just easily slip away at yeah. that point. He could have yeah. backed up a little bit and just <laughs> ran. <laughs> I think Chewbacca's already sexually attracted to a number of the Ewoks. <laughs> and he's just picking which one he wants at the victory party. That's right. Ewok Village is one of those places you might want to go yeah. on a first date. This though. looks very much like Chewbacca's hometown, so I'm sure Chewie's like feels very at, at ease with right. the Ewoks. I'm sure you guys might mention this already, but of course, the original concept no, that we Lucas talked about had, it you did? You yeah. But yeah, how do you say it? Kaishak or Kashak? Kashik. Kashyyyk. So, yeah, it was going to be the Wookiee planet, but yeah. then I said the holiday special ruined it. <laughs> it was so <laughs> life day. Yeah, so, I, mean, I mean, I'm sure you know. that, uh, that, that Chris Taylor goes into it in the book, but why uh, why would you go with this over Kashyyyk, a bunch of Wookiees? Is it is it because the underdog story with Look at that these little, little baby tiny Ewok. things usurping the yeah, Empire? Yeah, ultimately what Lucas wanted to go for was he wanted to do, and this is one of the things I love about the Ewoks and the whole battle with the Empire here, he wanted to do the juxtaposition of... 
you know, not just the, the David and Goliath kind of scenario, but the natural world versus the technological right, world. Right, right. And with the problem you face with that with Wookiees is that, you know, they're very technologically advanced. Yeah, and they're huge badass. Yes. Whereas something that you would oversee that the Empire wouldn't even think would be a problem at all. Right, right. Uh, and they end up being one of the instruments of the downfall of the Empire. I love the family guy here when they're like, and they braided your hair. You let them braid your hair? <laughs> yes, they let them braid your hair. Like, Leia did not care about reuniting with those guys, maybe ever. She's like, hey, you guys <laughs> yeah. are giving me the spa treatment. I'm here. My hair doesn't frizz like, here. like, no, 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 we're going to keep eating it. We're yeah. cooking yeah. them up. Hey, like, yo, dude, are you just going to, like, Kill them first before you put them on the fire. No, no, we're just gonna put them living yeah. on living a giant fire and burn them alive. <laughs> <laughs> Their screams will fill will be our dinner yeah. music. It'll yeah. be fantastic. Watching them writhing in pain like. <laughs> See, this is why you should always be nice to adore it, because Han was always kind of a dick to 3PO. Yes, so 3PO's was. like, I'm not going to impersonate a god for you. When Luke right. asked him to do it, 3PO's like, ah, oh, yeah, okay, I'm a god. You're right. You gave me that oil bath. We're good. I know. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> that's right. I owe you one. And, and, you. and your dad you built me. Yeah. So. And your dad built me, as it yeah. turns out. Right. Do we know how he got that silver leg? I know Christian Harloff read some book about it, but how did C I don't know in what the adventure the he got the silver leg, right. but. He's got that silver yeah. leg. Yeah. It actually might have been from birth. I don't know if they had parts. I don't know. No, I remember he was all like, you know, the exoskeleton. No, he had no shell in the first movie. Yeah. Is that a way to treat a, like, like if you met like a God on earth? Like, like that would be all of us. Like if Jesus walks through this door of the apostles, like, Jesus, it is so great to see you. We're going to eat the apostles. Is that cool mm -hmm. with you? Well, if we knew they were the apostles, only remember that to them, they're just... <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Ooh, porn. That's what they're saying. Yeah. So if it was the apostles. Yeah, but I don't think in their mythology there were any apostles to the golden ah, droid god. They're just right. hangers on. Yeah. Ah, the wicket's gonna meet R two D two. It's like yo. Yeah. Kenny Baker meet Warwick Davis. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Look how gorgeous that looks. Now, I love this scene, the storytelling time. I yeah. love this scene. You I loved the, it as a kid. I love it as an of adult. Our adventures. Yep. I never noticed Luke watching him, though. That's kind of cool. Say what you want about C-3PO. is a hell of a storyteller. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby it's great. Walk. The reaction for everybody and the stories. I think one of them comes up and, like, pets Han because he's oh, sorry yeah. for him. What happens here? Yeah, there it is. Wow. <laughs> like, you, you poor guy. Han just keeps getting cock blocked by something. <laughs> I can the, the Ewoks like, have better like, teeth than Yoda. Who's paying for this dude? They love their party music, yeah. the Ewoks. Ladies and gentlemen, Neil Pert. <laughs> That's the Neil Pert of yeah. the Ewok village. Yeah. They've been accepted. Hey, good news. We aren't going to eat you. Right. We were going to slit your throats right. when you were asleep. Burn you alive. But now we're buddies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good underused quote. Short help is better than no help yeah. at all.
<laughs> he really is a dick to see through pills. I know, yes. And never changes. Even in The Force Awakens, when C. Through Pops, he just dismisses him. Mm-hmm. He never says one thing to yeah. C. Through PO. Yeah, like like a second like old. Like five yeah. seconds yeah. old. <laughs> See, like she cannot be remembering Padme. Yeah. She's beautiful, kind. She she's got she's prob she's probably referencing um Bale's wife. She's got to be referencing Bale's wife, right? But, oh, that's a good point. Right. Because she wouldn't have she any memory no of... No. Well, yeah, but when did Bale's wife die? Never said. Huh. But she did die. Or she's still... She's probably they never said. Yeah. But, I mean, that's got to be the only way. That Jimmy Smith's, you know, his lady died real... Like shortly after they got her, and then maybe he married again. Well, I think or... we can we can agree that if it's married to Jimmy Smith, it's she's probably beautiful. Yes, she's probably hot. Jimmy Smith ain't settling, you know. The big reveal. Surprised he didn't tell her earlier. We well, Consider- really didn't right. get a chance. But you know they were on the Millennium Falcon, and then they're on the medical rig together while he's healing and getting his hand replaced. And I think he wanted to confirm it. Mm, good Yoda. point. Yeah. That's a good point. Good point. Yeah. No, because yeah, he asked Yoda, "Is he yeah. my father?" By the way, not only is Darth Vader my dad. Yeah. I hope you're sitting down. You have right. that. You have the that girl power you were too. making out with yeah, and rescued it. on the Death Star is actually your sister. What? Remember oh, how he- I love the voiceover. It's more lines than he had in Force Awakens right there. <laughs> those are the lines they used in the trailer. I know. Yeah, everybody saying, no, no, they re-recorded. It. No, no, those no, are the no. lines from the movie. Yeah, he didn't have any new lines. <laughs> what if Daisy Ridley was the daughter of them two? Just like an inbred. That's why they shipped her away. <laughs> yeah, I'm ashamed. She said, somehow like, I've always you known. You are shame. Somehow I've always yeah. known, yet yeah. they're making out in Star Wars and Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> Carrie Fisher, the only actress that Mark Hamill can stand beside and look tall. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if that's. I don't going believe he won't turn me over to the emperor. emperor. Yeah. Mm, strike one, kid. Yeah. I've always said that too. It's like it's just a it it it's a weird plan because what an awkward day at work that would be that Monday morning when Luke's like, okay, guys, uh, we have a new uh, guy joining us today. Uh, you probably re- recognize him. Um, he mm. has apologized, <laughs> and he'd like to come in to yeah, his, his name is His name is Luke Skywalker. He blew up the first Death Star. Yeah. Single-handedly. Using something called the Force. It's an archaic uh, <laughs> religious thing that uh, also Darth Vader's yeah, part of. What about turning Vader? <laughs> I know. Did you bring Vader back in? Now, yeah. I know for most of you here, <laughs> this guy has killed yeah. your families or your worlds that you're from. Right. You know what's awesome is the myth. Caused a lot of problems. Yes. Yeah. Look, is that is that is that like smoke from the fire or like is that? I think it's mostly like forest mist. Forest mist. It's, it's a lot of Ewoks farting. It looks awesome. <laughs> it's very That's gaseous. The pure methane yeah. of an Ewok's butthole. Is that what you're trying to say? Ewok butt meth. That's the name of a band right there. A, a 90s, a 90s Ewok grunge butt band. Meth? Yeah. Yeah. They Ewok open for butt butthole meth. surfers. Yeah. Hans, like, look, I'll I'll take it any way I can get it. We'll figure it out. She'll tell yeah. him later. Great. View. I love this scene yeah. with the ad ats. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're AT Hmm. They're AT No, they aren't. It's oh, ad ats. These, these are. No, it's been it's, confirmed. It's ad ats. That's how you say it. It's AT ats. And that, can't be a way in. Correct, Ellis. Ad ats is what they're called. I'm actually fairly certain they're at You guys are both wrong, but... Look, I, I, look I can it up look later. that up. I got, I, I'm, not, no. I'm not die hard on that. No, I got corrected. That. That's why I'm saying. Yeah. I got corrected by... But who corrected? Um, Dan Merle and they, and they looked it up. 
when I was on Screen Junkies just last week. So because they are all terrain assaults. Yeah. Something. Yeah. But the 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 proper term uh, for the short thing right? is yeah. All terrain yes. transport. Assault transport. Yeah. Assault transport. Yeah. yeah. But you call them at ats. But then what do you call the two legged ones? The chicken AT? walkers. I don't. I can't remember what you call them. <laughs> <laughs> But no, they made a point of looking it up on uh, some Star Wars Wikipedia thing or whatever. Good work. He just walked in the door and turned himself over yeah, to me. That's right. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> I won't force choke you today. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. Dude just showed up to work. That's all he did. That's right. Then walked him up the stairs. Him and those three stormtroopers are definitely going out. Like they're like, dude, we, <laughs> yeah. we just had a meeting with Vader. You said good job. Yeah, he didn't kill us. <laughs> Drinks on me. Watch it with a lightsaber, pal. Yeah, please do not point that at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he does a Ben Solo <laughs> by mistake. I even love that you sense some conflict in Vader in this scene. Yes. And it's really the first time, but it doesn't right. surprise us. Yeah. The way they've set it up, it doesn't actually surprise us. Green sucks. <laughs> Your Schwartz is as big as mine. <laughs> Love this line. What, because I put a, a lightsaber together? <laughs> now I'm powerful. Do you, have you ever built a lightsaber? I, I have it not. It's not it, easy. It's probably hard to do. you got to get a kyber crystal from somewhere. Yeah. You don't know the power of oh, he should have had his fist up when he I said know. that. Oh, Anakin. I know. See? He's like, that's almost, that's like regret. Yeah. He's like, man, I wish I could go back to that field when it was me and Allie right. Portman. Not that field where they're rolling around with those giant weird bug bee bumble creatures, right? Yeah. It, yeah. Oh, God. I forgot about that scene. Mic drop. <laughs> I think they, they could have had at least like one father Sunday before the Emperor. Darth Vader is one of the best designed villains ever. Oh. Like just that helmet is just incredible. Yeah. Looks like a skull. It's just it's unbelievable. Yeah, everything about that. Case, it's just it's the perfect villain, you know, it really is. Well, speaking of the woods, Mark's going to go find a tree. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good time. Yeah, you got to plan out your breaks. And this is like just the perfect. You're not going to miss I, anything too important. I have always wondered, even as a kid, why did they bring C-3PO along on this assault mission? You're right. The sh <laughs> While everybody else is wearing camouflage, <laughs> let's bring the shiny yeah. gold robot. Yeah, the most reflective thing that anyone <laughs> like six miles away would see. That is glinting. a hard time walking, by the way. That was a That's very right. difficult time walking. It's, speaking of hard time walking, is R2 with them that hard time well, rolling? Okay, wait, now I realize maybe because he's basically the liaison between the Ewoks and the Rebels. So, okay, that uh, makes sense. Makes sense. Still, they should have yeah. had him in some kind of camo. Yes. Because you're right, the most reflective thing on you know that they and have. There are the B wings, right? I like, and this is this I, is like right out of Empire Strikes Back, where the Millennium comes right towards oh yeah. us. Man, I love that shot. This is the prelude to what I still contend is the greatest space battle scene in the history of movies. I can, and there has never been a better, a better space battle scene. Well, I cannot any wait movie. to rewatch this and 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 see if that's right because I haven't seen this in a while, so. I've never seen it on Blu-ray. And, and of course, Neem Nub is in uh, Force Awakens. Yes. A little older, a little wiser. Yep. How long can the Neem Nub species live? Uh, 90 years, I'm guessing. <laughs> I can't wait to hear him say it's a trap. Never Dang. gets old. No, it Hyperspace. does not. I have to say I love The Force Awakens that you get to see so many scenes while they're in hyperspace. Yes. Just as me as a kid loved seeing that weird blue like hyperspace travel. That blue travel. hyperspace tunnel that yeah. they're in. 
And here's the entrance. Can we get some subtitles for these Ewoks? <laughs> what did they just say? They didn't want us to know. He's going to go steal a bike. Yeah. You know, you have the little eye blink. Yeah, it really helps. It is a nice addition, though, isn't yeah. it? It's the little subtle things in all the special edition stuff that is actually pretty good. Yeah. But then they put these huge, obnoxious, yeah, they like the beak uh, sarlacc coming out. Yeah, they don't need they any They need of that. to do that. I love that. Just, oh, no. Huh. Mark, all you missed was Ewoks talking to each other, and they didn't give us sub subtitles. <laughs> he knows how to turn yeah, this thing on. He's it's ready so to cute. rock it. I love that, yeah. I still haven't seen an, an Ewok blank. I haven't noticed. <laughs> Whoa! That's right. I need to see one of those dudes blink. No, we d you just missed a blink. Yeah, I know. I keep missing the blinks. You know, somebody should say, you know, Han, it's kind of racist. Yeah, yeah, we don't. Only we can say the f word. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Now some people might get mad that an Ewok, they, like they say, this is clownish. Or it's like, how is he? You know, why didn't he explode yet? But, See, this is appealing to kids yeah. in a way that also I think is entertaining for adults. Uh, grab that vine, son. <laughs> so smart. He couldn't really pile the thing. He was just on it. Yeah. yeah. Hit the throttle for about ten seconds, grabbed a vine. There he is. There's the white bearded guy. Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah. Look at that. That is a Oh Rex, right? They were saying beard. it was Rex from Rebels, I think. Oh, that's Captain Rex? I think so. He does Star Wars like sweaties. Who's this who's this Captain Rex? One of the clone troopers. Oh, ah, okay. That then became like a rebel. He had like hero. three brothers. Yes. Like three clone versions of himself. Well, right. there's thousands, right, millions right. of clones. Yes. Yeah, he pops up in uh, Rebels. Okay. He's a cool character too. No, the few episodes of Rebels that I've seen, it's pretty incredible. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to seeing all. And of it. that shot was in the trailer. Right. And we're all like, "What?" Right with, with the, the red Elbert guards. Dolphins. Yeah. And Vader and Luke are standing shoulder yeah. to shoulder. We're oh, like, really? "What? Yeah. What happens in this movie?" Oh, so you're worried that he's going to the dark? Oh side. yeah. Yeah. And he's wearing black. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a pretty good recruiting trip though, because like, look at how nice the dark side is. Look at all these nice, you yeah. know, accommodations right. we have. Every so often you got to bow down before this old guy, but other than right. that, he's, he's cool. always sitting in a big chair, so yeah. it's not a, a lot of times. So, <laughs> if once in a while you got to bow down yeah. to this old guy, yeah, Skywalker. Magic nice tricks showing yeah. off. Yeah, I love totally. the cockiness. Yeah. I'm like, eh, we don't need handcuffs for this little guy. He's like, they're like, all right, we we'll uh, got into red this costume later. Ah, uh, it's a great shot. Yeah, he's so creepy. Dude, he totally does have a scar on his forehead, like Snoke's. I'm just, I'm just saying. I don't see it. You don't see the scar? No. You see it from here? No, no, no. It's it's left over from the end of Revenge of the Sith, where he gets transformed. But that's just a, that's that, just a, a cranial that's thing. A, yeah, that's just yeah. the 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 cavern between the two yeah. big no, 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 lumps no, no, on his no, no, head no, no, going no. down the middle. Look. look Look further up. There's the right. hint of a, of a big I see right. wrinkly and swollen. That's all I see. That's what she said. <laughs> Ashley Mova, ladies and gentlemen. Ashley I'm Mova. taking over. Oh, thanks for tipping her hand, Luke. Yeah. That line yeah. always freaked me out. But it I'm doesn't like, matter. Man. He's like, yeah. you mean your little friends. You think the emperor could afford a little bit of dental care? <laughs> he likes it like that. Your friends here. Your friends here. I'm the emperor. I don't need to floss. <laughs> yeah, but it's still like a huge indentation. I don't think he's snow. I do not think he's snow. But it's interesting. Let me sit back in my reclining chair. Yeah, it's definitely a massage chair too. Yes. I, I want to point that out. I love that line. My design. Yeah. It was I. I love that he says pitiful band here in a yeah. second here. <laughs> so oh, confident. 
Well, your troops aren't exactly. This is, this is great. Hashtag sarcasm. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Sar- S- salacious Crumb's laugh right there. <laughs> he should have Salacious Crumb with him. Totally. Yeah. Sitting down by his foot yeah, on the edge of his He's robe. Fantastic. He got a new gig. That's right. Upgrade. Haunt all business. Yep. This is where the Ewoks come That's in. Right. Say what you want about Ewoks, but they're the reason why Han Solo survived. That's right. It's rally time. Actually, That's a very good catch. That's right. You rebel you scum. Rebel scum. Yeah, that guy. Can you kind of blame the Ewoks for the existence of Kylo Ren? Bam, there we go. A little bit of it. I guess a little bit, yeah. Because if if there's no Ewoks, then Han and Leia clearly don't make it. This is some wonderful rationalization that's figuring out a problem here. Say, wait a minute, they're jamming a signal. Why would they be jamming a signal yeah. if they didn't know where right. they were coming? There's yeah, Wedge. Wedge. Boy. I like those A Wing uh, helmets. Yeah. Wedge just a solid teammate. Oh, Why does Akbar always got to get religious? <laughs> <laughs> He's dropping that force thing again. <laughs> Oh, bam. See, this is what you get when you pair two different species as co-pilots. They just barely missed going right into a deflector shield. I love that shot. Oh, man, that's a great shot. See, this space battle that's about to take place. It's a trap! Greatest in film history. Yeah. I'm telling I, you, it is the greatest in film history. And you look at it just from six years prior. Like, look at this. Yeah, that shot right there is so yeah. many ships composited. Yeah. You're right. Look at look at s- six years earlier when you just had the one, the two TIE fighters chasing against the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Well, they you used got to, fighters and cruisers battling. Yeah. And now, everything. if you just to think about it, they used to have to bypack every single shot of a TIE fighter. So when you see, like... 100 ships, that's 100 rolls of right. going through the same film processor. It's a right. lot of work before Crazy. computer graphics. He's really savoring this moment. Yeah, I mean... Oh, your lightsaber. Mm, you want it. What, did you use the force? Or did you just look at the way I'm staring at it? <laughs> <laughs> He's right, man. When you get angry, you start to get hot. You can feel your blood boil. It's he could sense it. The guy's in tune. Darts like, hey, I'm still here too, right? <laughs> the dark side guys sure do like that word. They make a good case, man. They do. You know? Like, you just look at the scoreboard right now. The Emperor is clearly starting to win over Luke. These Rebellion members have been captured. They're way outnumbered. Ewoks are our only hope. It is not looking good for, the good, for the good guys right what now. What is this, the designated of the two legs? Is it the ATSTs? Yeah. Yes. Right. They're not at sits. They're ATSTs. Right, okay. but the at ats is for some reason they, that's what they that's call a great, them. That's a great argument, John. <laughs> Can't be it. That's a great argument. <laughs> it's See, look, me. golden guy in the Why middle of the forest dad? sticks out so obviously. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're right. There's a shiny guy. <laughs> but that's what now he's distracting them, John. Here we go. <laughs> the battle cry of an yeah. Ewok. Aye-ya! Yeah, stab oh, him in the neck. Great. That's like a stand and deliver from Adam Ant. <laughs> stand and deliver! Now, arrows have got to be hurting. Yeah, that's like, yeah, you, know, you don't want to get shot by an they arrow. They may not penetrate, but they are a new. They were yeah. penetrating. Yeah, they see? were going I mean, right They were in. penetrating right through the Stormtrooper armor. 
Nice shot, Leia. That's the force. See, look, now you're, now you're taking, this is very Vietnam-like, you know? It's like, it's just hard to fight on somebody else's home turf. It's about to get emotional here, too, when, when two of those Ewoks might not oh, make yeah. it. Oh. oh, the hardest thing to take in all of Star Wars. That's why I just call them chicken walkers, but <laughs> ATSEs. <laughs> and now we take giant rocks to your yeah, head. Just, ah. Giant bones and stuff. I love this dude. Pretty rough watching those stormtroopers throw those little teddy bears. Get up. Get up. Uh, Get up. That's hysteric. I love that. <laughs> That's great. See, there's like Ewoks dying right now, but like like the camera doesn't leave it on any right, of it's them. It's not lingering until on the their end. death. Yeah. yeah. See, we're starting to win now. Yeah. Starting to turn things around. Yeah, see, Wicked is not a... No, he's not right. the sharpest knife yeah. in the no. drawer. Good shot, Han. See, some people complain about the scene. They, the Ewoks came to defeat the Empire. No, 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 no. The Ewoks were part of the distraction. Remember, there was a full, there was a full battalion down there of rebel fighters. Right. That are also fighting them off. Right, right. And he had Chewbacca. It's a joint effort. Afraid. Yes. Yeah. I have to admit, it's not as corny watching it right now as I remembered it. It's right. actually pretty fun. You're right. And yeah, this upcoming death scene is just heartbreaking. Yeah. I mean, the catapults are really what can... See, that can inflict some damage. So they go, that didn't work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dang, club is I love the They're heart. doing everything they're they trying, can. They're, they're throwing the kitchen everything. sink at yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. baby. Watch out, dude. I you love seeing those two TIE fighters close yeah, in exactly. on his... From the back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, this Knock base out, battle Wedge. is just so good. Yeah. See ya. I love that weird ship, too. You uh, know what I'd love to see in that Calmari Cruiser. Yeah. I'd love to see a big space battle like this, because you didn't really get a lot of space battling. No. no. But honestly, you gotta—you have to shoot it like this. When you have too much CGI flipping Absolutely all around, this agree. just feels real, right. you know. Why does it feel real? Because they were shooting models, you know. So the constraints of having actually shooting something in reality is what makes it feel so real. <laughs> Look at all of those star destroyers. They're just like, ah, yep. we'll chill. See, so the Emperor orchestrated all of this, all that space battle yeah. he orchestrated just to try to convert Luke to yep. the dark side. Yep. Well, he knows ultimately getting Luke is a far more significant, it's a, would be a far more significant triumph. Yeah. Right. He's thinking about it. Like, he it. took over a galaxy with Vader. Not Vader and Vader's son. I mean, it would be... Bam. They didn't know that. Yeah. Nope. What? Come on. I love his look. I said, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> this changes things. I quit. They just killed like a couple thousand rebels yeah. in that ship. Reminds me of that. You ever see that Mon Calamari uh, uh, Admiral Akbaro's, the cereal commercial on Family Guy? Your taste buds can't repel flavor of this magnitude. <laughs> There you go. Now we're going to beat you to death. <laughs> beat to death by sticks. <laughs> it was a stormtrooper's legacy. <laughs> oh. Shot in the head or beaten to death by sticks. Yeah, mm -hmm. really. See, once again, R2 saving everybody's ass. Oh. Uh. You know, I often wondered... 
when all this stuff is going down, why doesn't somebody just shoot that droid? Then, well, they got nah, the memo. Poor guy. I love seeing all this stuff stick yeah. out. Like, those are his intestines, by yeah. the way, everybody. Now it starts okay, so to get the dark. Ewok's gonna take some lumps now. No, oh, no. Get up. Get up. Come on, shake it off. Walk it off, big guy. Casualties oh, of war. Oh man. Not every Ewok is going to escape. Nope, they don't all make it out. Oh boy. There's nah. sacrifices along the way. Fine. It's his pal. Oh, oh. man. War that comes to the price, Ewoks. Even teddy bears die. It's horrible. Yeah, really. See, Lando's getting dirty now. Yep. Lando's almost going kamikaze right here. No, oh, no. Okay, let me ask you guys this. If Luke had to do this ten times, do you think he, he's successful every time, or do you think maybe one or two out of the ten times he actually converts to the dark side? I like, think he's, I think he's good every time. Every time. Every time. He doesn't go Dark Empire until after this. Hmm. And that's not even canon yeah. anymore. That's not so. canon anymore. Okay, let like me Christian ask you, Harloff would agree with us, right? Let me ask you this. How many times out of ten does Darth Vader make the same decision at the end? Does Seven. Darth yeah, does Darth Vader actually decide to yeah. go back to the? Good I would side? go five and five out of ten. I think Vader's already thinking about it. I think he, I think he gave seventy percent in his fight against Luke mm. because he's just not sure anymore. We'll be complete, or I could kill you <laughs> and then just go home. <laughs> Oh, the turmoil. Get he that is, saber, son. He's six inches from it. Why yeah. do you need the force to pick it up? I know, right? <laughs> Just grab it. Yeah. I love that little extra laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Chewie and some Ewok team up. Yeah, I love this. Now, the one thing I don't dig here, and I love this whole battle on Endor. If you say the Tarzan. I just do not dig the Tarzan oh, scream. I love it. As a kid, I thought it was great. Oh, that? Yeah. yeah, dude. As a kid, I liked it. I don't but like it. As an adult, it. I just hate it. Sorry, you know that you even reminded me of it. I was like, I will yeah. agree with you. I forgot. I'm so about glad that. it comes and goes. Yeah. <laughs> just like that guy. Yeah. See ya. Really? He See, died. You know, that's how you yeah. kill somebody. That guy did not survive that no, fall. That's a yeah. forty-foot death. And now we're gonna beat this guy to yeah. death. I think they just leave his corpse there on the floor. <laughs> yeah, they, they just do. leave their rotting. Yeah, he's just, oh, that's how they could operate the vehicle. Yeah. They're standing on his corpse. Now they're testing his white hey, dick. Hey, Chincha, pick. what are you up to? <laughs> oh, murder? Yeah. <laughs> just beat a guy to death with a stick. How about you? Oh, I smashed the dude's head in with this, d with this uh, rock. bone. <laughs> yeah, a rock. <laughs> oh, man. See, that's great. I bet you they stepped on like eighty walks by accident. Like, <laughs> oh no! Like, oh, sorry about yeah. Sorry about Hank. Friendly fire. Sorry yeah. about yeah. Hank. Friendly stepping. I guess <laughs> what you'd call it. Damn, it's going nuts. It's blowing up stormtroopers. Well, yeah. them stormtroopers ain't camouflage very well no. in the woods. Let's do it, Chewie. Yeah, see, now the stormtroopers, they're already so, wounded from all the sticks and arrows that were that's hitting. That's right. Yes. You keep running, bastards. Yeah, now it really Killing hurts. teddy bears. You're done. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm impressed he was able to hold on for that long. I know, right? This, that's oh. the worst one to me. To me, the clothesline yeah. oh, is the yeah. worst one. You know, yeah. Oh, my God, that, that hurt. had to hurt. <laughs> he oh, didn't see it coming. by giant rocks also yes. hurts, but he's savage little bears. The guys inside of there, dead. dead. Those are dead. Those <laughs> <Yes>. are dead. <laughs> so much wanton murder and destruction. It's incredible. See, you're not surviving yeah. this fall either, probably. I don't mind this little goofiness because those guys yeah. are dead. Yeah. I, I did wonder, is he just falling over makes them blow up? <laughs> that's right. They, that's the Empire's like bad uh, you know, strategy. We just make yeah. sure everything's loaded with explosives, so if you're captured, huh. the machinery is, ex you know. Why 
Why are they in the freeze? Why don't they just step just up and shoot, shoot them? them? Yeah. They're the Empire. I know. It's, a, it's fun. Flip that, flip that script right there. <laughs> yeah, Leia. Nice shot. I never noticed he had blood on his hands. Like, Leia's bleeding, man. Yeah, she got shot. Yeah. Or is it just ketchup? Look, R2's still, like, R2's still struggling with all this stuff <laughs> sticking out. Look, he's yeah. still got it. R2 is messed up. This weekend at Bernie's, that dead pilot you got in there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this whole scene oh, I yeah. love. See, Darth Vader's a competitive guy, so he's not just going to back down, but he's, he's, he's going through conflict, too. Boy. Boy. Little dark, tall man in there. Boy. Yeah. Actually, all he really did was give me this remote ball floaty thing, and I played with it for about 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> he gave me the lightsaber, yeah. too. Yes. Yoda's sitting there like, what? No, no credit for I? <laughs> I'm the one from Dagoba, yes. <laughs> you unwise. Oh, what a great this this lightsaber battle never gets talked about. I talk about it, but it's it might be the best one. It is. It's by far the best one because there's drama in with the fight. Yeah. I still like the Empire one better, but I like this one as well. That's Luke's version of trash talk. That's right. <laughs> I'd love to say that to somebody on the playground. Again, no like handrails. I feel like nah, that's right. Empire doesn't believe in handrails. <laughs> if you fall, you had a coming. Yeah, that's right. You were unbalanced. <laughs> He's so happy. Yeah. See, the Emperor never thought about just throwing his lightsaber at somebody. Right now, where I've never is heard that, that good, good before. Oh, that's good. good, good, good. All right, can you guys stop jerking off Ewoks on Endor and get that deflector shield down? <laughs> wow. I think he kind of already has, hmm. but here it is. Use the dead body. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, that's just Han. No, that's Han, yeah. He's yeah. holding the mic up in front of his mouth. Look at how smiley they yeah, are. I, know. I always idiots. thought they just held up a corpse and huh. just, like, put the mic in front of his mouth. That was pretty see grim. I was like, I don't remember a dead body, John, <laughs> but... <laughs> I was like, I'm waiting for that. That's pretty grim. Yep, you morons. Ha ha. Now, what do they do with these guys? Do the Ewoks stone them to death now? Yeah, or? they, they yeah, execute they, them and eat them. That's <laughs> where they get the majority of the helmets from the... Uh, yep. For the, the celebration on right. Endor. Totally. Okay, so arrange for the transport of these stormtroopers back to the prison world. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. The, the Ewoks yeah. got at him. Totally ate him. Stone him to death. Totally ate them. Bricks, bone smashing, and uh, <laughs> spears. They're all dead. And they're mulch, basically. Reporting back to the Emperor, sir, we, we have a lot of uh, uh, broken ankles. We yeah. have some fractured tibias. <laughs> The few that are left are pleading to be killed. <laughs> he can't hide it. No, he's trying, but he can't. No. I think he's just more worried about his friends and his sister than he is. Listen to the way he says it. Side. Sister. Yeah. All I need to say right now is Padme, and then it'd be like the end of Batman or Superman, you know? Like, <laughs> That's right. Padme? Oh, no. Why'd you say Padme? I know. That'd be horrible. <laughs> oh, Vader uh, knows how to push the buttons, yeah, he man. Does. Yep. He said the wrong yep. words. Talk about your daughter like that.
I like that chorus. Oh, you and the hear. music that's playing with yeah. it is so perfect. Yeah. It's, it, it just fills the scene with the drama that's already inherent in it. It's awesome. There's like a Greek tragedy feel to it yeah. here. Well, this is kind of almost the reverse from Empire Strikes Back, yeah. where now he cuts his arm off. It's exact, you know. Ah. I am your son. That's what he should say. <laughs> Look at I love the way he walks around like a like a ter so ter Mr. Like Burns. Tyrannosaurus Rex yeah. in his hands. All right, so he just now became a Jedi Knight, or did he become a Jedi as soon as he was in the same room as Vader? I think the moment he makes his choice here and throws his lightsaber away, he becomes now a he's Jedi a, Knight. Yeah. Now he's a Jedi. I faced him. Yeah. I, I faced not my trial. I faced him. my temptation, yeah. Yeah. and I won. Man, right that's, there. That's Luke the Jedi Knight now. Yeah. I'd love to hear a cat. Like, <laughs> like it'd be a great spoof moment. But he says right here. Because he declares it for the first yeah. time. Right there. And that's why Luke's never gone bad. Yep. That's why it would have been the biggest mistake in the world to make that guy bad in episode seven. Yep. Calls him Jedi. Now the, the emperor, emperor is pissed. pissed. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's when he's going to be like, he's not used to get his way. I know, right? Damn. He's like, oh, God, I left Chewie in there. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot to tell Chewie we were yeah. setting it off. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we only lost 5,000 guys in the process while we were waiting. He but they did it. Entire family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever, just... What's this weird electrical powers? It's the first time we saw it. How yeah. ironic. Luke got his strength from blue milk, and now he's going to die from blue Blue lightning. electricity. Oh, his skin is so uh. grody. If Luke takes off that metal belt, none of this hurts him. Just <laughs> <laughs> wear rubble sole, rubber soles <laughs> on his boots. Yeah. See, Vader's like, okay, it's my kid. Go easy. Uh, yeah, I, I think 10 out of 10 times Vader picks him up, too. Yeah. I think he's going through too much. Yeah. He's sick of listening to this stupid hologram. Great camera movement and everything, too, with the turning of the head and... See, if the Emperor didn't dilly-dally and just killed him right off the bat. Had to keep it's, bragging. Yep. Had Dude, to, now, the this second the time, I'll give you a break. This is the same guy that orchestrated an entire <laughs> space battle. That's true. Just yeah. show, he's very theatrical. Yeah, he's very theatrical. He's got to extend that, extend yeah. it in a very operatic manner. Yeah, it's the love when he's got his mouth open. You see the lightning jumping between his teeth. I know, it's too. horrible. It's crazy. Yep. Good oh. animator. Oh. Uh, Should don't. never put that in there. Uh, I forgot he did it twice. And you can see his skull. That's I yeah. love this animation in there. Yeah, that's great, right that's there. That's really cool. See, Darth Maul was split in two and still survived. <laughs> that's the, I guess the energy of the Emperor yeah. just. No. no. Really? You just gave the Emperor the heads up you're about to do something. Right. No! no! Oh, it's the, the way his breathing becomes wheezy is... Oh. All right, here we go. This music is so good. Oh. How detailed and intricate is this trench? It looks Isn't so it great? cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, talk about it. Yeah, right? <laughs> and again, going back to the Family Guy special. Oh, no, no, it was, I think it was Robot Chicken. When they go, the Emperor's talking about the new Death Star. goes, now let's talk about this X-Wing fighter-sized tunnel that goes to the core. <laughs> I think it should be more Millennium falcon size. Nice. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. <laughs> and there goes the satellite dish. No more direct TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's their water tower, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so now we got the deflector shield. So now we need somebody with the rocks to fly their ship right into the. Oh, here we oh, go. Oh, man. And See ya. You. Thus ends the dude who's been around for two movies. Right? He lasted quite a while. Yeah, he did. It's kind of bothered me that a Star Destroyer would like sink like a ship, but whatever. Well, but it, the planet the has. Uh, the planet's gravity. Yeah, I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. It's being attacked by a number of different. I'll take it. Yeah. You get a cool shot like that, too. Yeah. So. Dudes, it's happening again. Yeah. <laughs> I know, that's right. <laughs> Another th we, what do you mean, a, the second time? <laughs> that's right. Get off the Death Star. It's called a Death Star. <laughs> All these stormtroopers running by, not one of them is like, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and cap this guy. I know, right? Just, this is a dome man. He's, yeah. well, he's with Vader. He is with Vader, right. yeah. Yeah, none of them helped Vader either. They're like, that guy was kind of a dick. <laughs> Just once it'd be nice if they took off the mask and James Earl Jones was under there. It'd be pretty awesome. Or he's like so good. It's like George Hamilton. Just like perfect head of hair and like great. I wouldn't tan, mind like. if they left it with Sebastian Shaw, who oh, was I the agree. original actor. Yeah. It's like, right. come on, man. Right. Putting in Hayden Christensen's eye or some yeah. weird stuff. I can't even remember if that's in, in this now or. But how do you feel if you're David Prowse? Are you just like, you can't even let me be in the I makeup? No, I know. Yeah, here's the thing. Look, and I no, some people that, be bothered by this. Is that Hayden or is that Sebastian? It looks no, like that's Sebastian. Sebastian. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Some people don't, won't like this. David Prowse is owed nothing. He was an actor who got hired to be in a thing, and the only reason any of us know his name is because he was given the privilege to be the guy this inside true. the Vader. True. And this does take a lot of nuance and acting ability. Yes. Yeah. And he's got to play harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I won't say that about David. I'm Prowse dying, or, Luke. Or <laughs> Peter. Peter Mayhew also did a great job as Chewbacca. Yes, a lot yeah. of acting inside of a suit. It's not an easy thing to walk around with, like yeah. mostly blind. So, hats off to anybody who's been in a Star Wars movie, even if you're a stormtrooper. Yeah. Tell, tell your sister. Tell your sister she was right. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, have you seen the, the video of him playing the harmonica? Oh, no. no. There, there's an actual video of this scene, but he's playing the harmonica. Oh, that's hilarious. It's pretty good. Yeah. The death of Darth Vader. My kid cut my hand off. <laughs> Little Annie dies at last. Uh, yeah, this is... That's, yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, this is my favorite scene. I remember I was blown away by this. Like, whoa, yeah. look at that chamber. Right. It's cool this. the way they make it like, oh, we should probably shoot that very important looking thing in the middle. <laughs> right. Wow, that is really cool looking. All right, so this scene on the way out is number 248 on my favorite things about this movie. It's, it's so awesome. There we go. Oh, Boom. yeah, you yep. see it starting to collapse. Oh, now go like bats out of hell and great. get out of yeah. there. That's on a par with like John McClane jumping off the building just in time. Yeah. Well, especially with the Millennium Falcon just barely getting out with the flames blasting yeah. out behind yeah. it. He did the same thing yeah. with the shuttle. So. And right. Wedge is going to survive, man. Wedge, Wedge lives. All three movies. Yep. See ya. Now here we go. Chasing the Millennium Falcon. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. 
What if that ring just came in and wiped them all out? I know. That'd now, be somebody put out a scientific study about what would happen to the world of to the that moon of Endor had something the size of the Death Star just blown up in its orbit. What would happen? Like total ecological disaster. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God this is a science fiction yes. fantasy movie and not in reality. Everybody wins. <laughs> Instead, they got a nice light show. <laughs> Now, coming up here shortly will be one of my other big regrets of the special editions. See, there she is. They took out the Ewoks yep, on and put in yeah. some Jan Zimmer uh, kind yeah. of thing. We'll sing it while the, their stupid music is going on. We'll do the Nub Dub song. Da-dum, da-dum, da-dum. <laughs> He's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. I won't get in the way. He could <laughs> literally have any other girl he wanted. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's like, and then oh, hang on a huge. second. Like, do you mean like, like yo, we're we're bros, right? Or Not soul <laughs> brother, but real flesh. And, oh man, you're a Skywalker. All right, Wicked. Yeah, fine. Invite Wicked into the bedroom, man. I'm happy. I'm getting some. Have you seen them blink yet? No. All right. Let's look. There's going to be a blink coming up very soon. That means get the hell out of the way. There's metal shards falling <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> That's right. The Death Star blew That's up. the horn blast. Says, hey, guys, we won. Take those prisoners and kill them now. We're going to use their heads. Do you guys remember there's a fan trail that came out before the Force Awakens teaser, like right. a day before, and I thought it was the real one. It was so well done, and they opened with this scene. Mm. And yes. And I was, yes. like, getting emotional watching it. It's so good. Well, it's kind of cool that he decided to, like, do a funeral py pyre yeah. for his dad, you know? Apparently, it's the Jedi way. Funeral pyres are the Jedi way. They didn't burn that helmet, though, enough, no, as we found not. out. No, <laughs> Smokey the Bear is not in approval of this. <laughs> and here we are at Disneyland. Yeah. Got some fireworks going on. <laughs> now, See, I, I like did this. not mind this. I like this. Showing the different yeah. worlds that we visited in Star Wars, that the, right. the galaxy So what is this celebrate. called? John Roca mentioned this. Bespin. On Bespin, right. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I have to have a little fun there. See, when, when you saw this in a theater in 97, this was like, holy crap, guys, we're really working and on new movies And that's Tatooine, here. right? No, that's, um, oh, was that, that was Tatooine. This, this is, is Naboo. Naboo. Naboo, yeah. Ugh, there's Jar Jar. Well, you can see the Jar Jar. Yeah. That's Coruscant. Yeah, yeah. that's Vegas. You see, uh, you see the Emperor's statue here soon. They pull down his statue. Right. Yeah, right there, there it is. And they're, they're pulling oh, down his, the Emperor's yeah. statue. I never noticed that before. The little stupid pan flute. Yeah. So now you can cut back to yub yub yub. I be ba yub yub. I shall my big ba 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 Everyone's dancing to some weird Robbie Shankar stuff. Yub yub. I be ba yub yub. Come on, guys. I love how Akbar was down there dancing. I totally missed that before. Look, you don't even hear what they're playing anymore. Yeah. It's been there's there's Agmar getting his groove on. Oh, yeah. There he is. I love that. I love them reuniting. I love Han seeing everybody. I think Luke and Wedge reunite for a second, yes, too, they do. which is yeah. great. And yep, then Wedge, and, Wedge, right there. Wedge and Chewie Wedge. have a good moment, too. Yeah. There we go. Big swing and lightsaber Luke Skywalker. He's a Jedi Knight now, man. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I get my. You hug. did it. Yeah. Yub yub. <laughs> there we go. Knee nub. Knee nub. A knee num. Knee nub. See, yep. like, you know they're not really dancing to this song. They t <laughs> they're, they're, they're dancing to yub. They're dancing yeah. to yub yub. Even yeah. Chewie's dancing. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and I'm Hayden uh, Christensen. So Obi Wan's like, yeah. wait, why what? did he get the younger body? Why I should be young as well. And I don't get I my Hugh McGregor body. He still looks evil. He still looks evil. Because they're trying to say he transformed back to when he was still a yeah. Jedi. I guess oh, that's maybe. what they're trying to. They're trying to tie it in badly. I'm making it making hey, excuses. I know for you it. destroyed all those plans for those people, but all's forgiven, yeah. buddy. Good job, Richard Mark Hond. You've redeemed yourself, at least for myself. I enjoyed seeing Return of the Jedi a lot more 
seeing it with some some pals who really love this movie. I love made this me movie. appreciate it a lot more. It's just a fun movie to revisit it again is. and again, and I need to see it another time so I can watch Ewoks blink. John Campia, your closing uh, salvo, if you yeah, will. Yeah, I, I, look, I. Uh, I have full respect to everybody and all those people and a lot of people put Empire as their number one for mm-hmm. very good reasons. Empire is one hell of a movie. But the the combination of the humor with the stakes at hand, with the space battles, the greatest lightsaber fight, I think, in all the trilogy, uh, all these different things, and you a definite, very clear three set, three act structure that goes through from going from Jabba to to the other elements mm-hmm. of the film. I just Love this movie. To me, is what I think about when I think about why I love movies. I think Return of the Jedi. It's definitely got the most fun in it, if you ask me, because yeah. there's so many different things to love in here, whether it's Jabba's palace or it's that incredible epic space battle or the Ewoks are getting to see Luke and Yoda say goodbye, getting to see our characters reunite on the Endor party after all this stuff goes yeah. down. Shadab, what are some things that stuck out to you that, that maybe you didn't realize in earlier viewings that enhanced your enjoyment this time? Well, for me, I think it was everything on Endor. I really, I, for the first time in my entire life, I actually appreciated the Ewoks. You know, it's fun. It's fun and easy. Here, to make, here. We did our job. It's <laughs> fun and easy to make fun of them, especially because they have like horrible TV movies like Battle on Endor oh, or whatever. Oh my but if gosh, you just take yeah. this as the third part of the Star Wars trilogy and then watch it like, you know, I guess and for myself with some fresh eyes, I enjoyed the the. Uh, the humor that they put in there when I remember seeing it when I was a kid, I didn't enjoy the humor, but this time I did. And I liked the, the, the stakes that they had, you know, you actually watch the Ewoks are kind of like pretty brutal little animals, yeah. but they, you know, they also, uh, you know, the stakes are pretty high. They're there to, to save their planet. They basically. got sharp pointy teeth. It, yeah. uh, it's definitely my favorite uh, Star Wars movie. I might acknowledge that I think Empire Strikes Back is a better film. No, so see, is, I, but I haven't changed my mind. I still, th- for myself, I still love Empire, out of the th- these original three, the best. But definitely, Return of the Jedi is uh, has risen in my. It's viewpoint. worthy of being. In oh the my trilogy. god, yeah, for sure. Especially seeing it again. I mean, I haven't seen Return of the Jedi in a very long time, and I see Re- Empire Strikes Back probably once every couple years. Yeah. So Return of the Jedi was really cool, and it was great to see how they uh, they moved the entire Skywalker family forward. Especially now, seeing the Force Awakens, yeah. it makes it's like wow, it ended on this, such a high note, and then we come back to Force Awakens, and we're like, everything's well, grim and dark. There's a again. lot of dark things yeah. that happen, and remember, just because they blew up this, you know, second Death Star doesn't mean that there isn't the Empire that still runs the entire galaxy. Yeah, yeah so, you know, you bring the Force Awakens, and it's interesting to think now because that was the last time we saw any of our heroes was that party on Endor, and now we know what happened to him, and so right. there's just a little tinge of like. Well, now we know that some of their circles are now complete. That yeah. Their, yeah. their journeys are now finished. Whereas if that was the last thing that was canon, it's like, oh, they could be doing anything right now. Right. What now the we Force know what they were doing. What the Force Awakens taught us is that there is no such thing as happily ever after. There's only what happened next. Right. That's it. Because, you know, there was no, after a return of the Jedi, there's, there wasn't a happily ever after. It's something that happened next, and then right. something always happens next. And that's life, man. Yeah. That's life. That's right, dude. That's really deep, man. <laughs> hey. And have you guys seen, because in 97, have you guys seen the post credit scene that they added? <laughs> no, what is I'm it? I'm just kidding. No, I was going to say, is it Jabba? <laughs> He's still alive. It's, it's, it's Salacious Scrum. Scrum. Yeah. <laughs> Crawling out Coming of the, out of the sand. sand. It would be great to see Boba Fett get out of the Sarlacc pit walking towards his ship, and then he just grabs Salacious Crumb and well, he hops Salacious on Crumb his is back. on his back, yeah. yeah. That's a good team. Um, well, that's all for us here watching Return of the Jedi. Thank you guys so much for hanging with us while we got to check it out. Quickly, John, where can the kids find you on Twitter? Follow me on Facebook and on Twitter, simply at John Campia. How about you, Schnepp? Uh, just at John Schnepp uh, on Twitter and Instagram. My name is Mark Ellis, hence at Mark Ellis Live. We'll see you guys very soon for another non-Star Wars commentary. We've done all the Star Wars movies, guys. We've done yeah. them all. Let's go take we it. Bring on Rogue One or whatever. What, what's next? Yeah. <laughs> December cannot get here quickly enough. We'll see you guys very soon on another Collider video. Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.